just a little something for me. As a treat? No, this dude on Twitter, <laughs> he said, uh, just let this veteran cut me in line for the urinal, the least I could do. And he took a picture of him taking a piss. So somebody responded and said, then I took this photo of him peeing just a little something for me. <laughs> As a treat. <laughs> As a treat. For respecting the vets. <laughs> you know what's funny? Like, I did forget it's Veterans Day because, like, normally, like, I feel like I'm, like, smashed by, like, Veterans Day sales on everything. But there wasn't a lot of that this year, um, which I feel like maybe they read the room. I- I'm not sure, but... There's still people well, willing to spend money. I, I mean, you know, broke people, pandemic, niggas losing money. But there's still rich niggas out here, right? There's still niggas spending going money. to see, like, Veterans Day as, like, that? No, they just see it as a a, a, a day to give sales. That's what I mean. Like, I, No, no, but like, where do you be seeing ads? You know, emails and TV. and you know, I, I don't really watch, watch TV. TV so, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I just, you know, I don't know, maybe they are doing Veterans Day sales, and I'm just a brokey. I don't know. I don't... Yeah, that's what I imagine. Uh... And if my ad's not on YouTube, I'm not going to see him. <laughs> I got YouTube Premium, so I just don't see ads oh, anymore. Man. I'm sorry. I only got Premium for the ads. If I, I just want to make it clear. I'm a whore. I have to pimp myself out for $10 or 9 10 I forgot what I'm paying. But, uh... I had to do it. I've been fighting it for so long because I just refused to get, I refused to pay for YouTube, something I've been using as a child. Yeah. I refused. Yes. See, for me, it was just a matter of, uh, uh, like, I use YouTube every single, like, if I, like, you know, like, when you get the weekly wrap up report and it shows you, like, your most used everything and all that shit, YouTube is the number one app every single day and week. It always is. Like, like I, I watch YouTube. That's just, just basically what I do. So it's like, for me, I was like, all right, if I'm going to be watching YouTube this much, ain't no fucking way. I'm sitting through no 15, even, and, and mind you, before it was just like a 15 second ad, maybe a five second, you could skip at the five. You know what I mean? Now, nigga, they getting aggressive, dog. It's back to back 15s, back to back oh, yeah, 30s, they, nigga. They back to back 30s, nigga. I like, seen, I, I see, fight these things. Bro, I see my brother had one where it was a 15 followed by a 30. But the 30 was not skippable. And I was mm-hmm. like, yo. I got three 15s back to back unskippable. That's the fact that they bro. added three ads is. No, nah, that's not. Like, bro, I'm sorry. With that, like, at that point, you had punished me into getting premium. No matter how this. Like, I understand. Three five second unskippable ads. I'd rather just have one 15 second ad. The fact yeah, that there's three separate ads is just making me angry because you're forcing me to consume, to consume three separate ads. thoughts. <laughs> And I didn't even want the first thought, and you giving me three now, like e shit. See, it's the mark of the beast. I know, I had to. Travis Scott calls this. (laughs) (laughs) Shut the fuck up. He did. He said, "Oh, this is the end result. This is this is." is, Yeah. He gathered all that energy for this. (laughs) For for this, that was it. Oh man, um, but you know, well, since you mentioned it, I, I guess that's a uh, first topic for today, unfortunately. So, obviously, I'm gonna serious. I'm gonna get a little bit more serious for a second. Um, because yeah. I, I believe today there was a ninth victim confirmed uh, that she was fighting in critical care, and I think he or she passed. I don't remember if it was a man or a woman. I want to say it was a woman, but I don't. Did don't she pull pass? I saw that she was uh brain dead. Did they pull the plug? I. No, I, what I saw was she was the ninth person to pass. Like that, it was it, ninth was the you know what I mean. So like I don't again but I didn't. I might, dude, I might even be thinking about a different person. And I saw somebody possibly saying that somebody was brain dead. Possibly. I mean, the numbers are gonna grow over time because there's a lot of people who suffer from injuries and like and again I didn't watch all the videos. Unfortunately, just looking at the trend like the night of it happening, like I went to, like I, I fell asleep mad early this night, right? So like I woke up at like four in the morning. And I woke up and I was just bored. Went to bathroom and I was gonna. I, I think I got on like. You uh, bathroom when you bored too? I'm glad I'm I, not the only one. <laughs> he just oh, let me let me get a piss go. Let me get a good let me get a good piss going. Let me, let me go me, throw out a stream real quick. I'm let bored. me work this one up and let me just let me go force him to be on demand <laughs> just out of boredom. But nah, so I was up. Um, and 
I was uh, playing video games and I checked my phone maybe after like 10, 15 minutes and I seen the number one trending thing was like Astro World, Astro World Fest. Ast- I, don't, I don't know how it was uh, done, but it was Astro World or whatever. And I was like, oh yeah, that little festival thing, they, you know, okay, cool. And then like, cause you know, I usually got that little headline that like describes what it is before you click it. I didn't even read this. So I clicked it and it was talking about some, you might see some graphic content. I'm like, hey, hey, yo, wait, hold on, what? I'm like, at Astro World? I'm like, was, was it titties out there? Hey, like at first... What? I, yeah, right. Exactly. That was my first thought. My first thought was like something sexual. I was like, what What the hell? They was getting it popping on stage or something? And then I looked and I'm like, oh, no. Oh, no. This is this is quite the opposite of getting it popping. This is no. OK, no, 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 no. So. Um, so I seen all that and I was just seeing it and I was just like, hey, yo, this shit looks this is bad, Skip. This is bad. Um, I got to tell you, uh. As a person who's been in a crowd before that was like stampeding away from what they thought was a threat, uh, in this case, I mean, it was a threat, but I mean, you know, this this crowd surge is a difference, but that shit is pretty terrifying. Because the crowd was running. Well, no, I mean, well, with a crowd surge, it's just too many people. Like, like, and so they yeah, have definitions for this stuff people. and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, and like, but what I'm saying is, I went to a Global Citizens Fest uh, a couple years back. Uh, it was one of the years they had a. It was a great lineup, right? They had a uh, the weekend, Janet Jackson, Cardi B, uh, John Legend was there. Uh, the crazy Sh- Shawn Mendes. I didn't even know who that nigga was at the time. When I tell you, I had never heard this many people sing someone's song like live and per- like I swear, like maybe forty thousand people were- knew that shit. Like it just felt like I was like in the middle of it. I ain't know none of the songs, and I'm just hearing them bar for bar kill this Shawn Mendes shit, and I'm like, hey yo. What's going on? I had a girl I was with knew knew the songs. I'm like, well, damn, what the hell going on? I'm the only nigga. I think I've heard the song, the name Sean Mendez. But I'm, I'm like, who the oh, the, oh, oh this the, this the oh he the boy he the new one he the new joint. Okay, my fault, y'all. But anyway, so we was at that concert and um that concert there was a point during the concert like towards the they were doing like it was the Global Citizens Fest right so it's like this whole big thing about like humanity and nonprofits and shit like that. There's a whole bunch of like um you know celebrity cameos and whatnot they had hugh jackman was a cameo he didn't show up but he was like on one of the videos for it yeah, um I was there too. who is, is one of the senators he's a republican guy who had just retired in like 2016 Why i think fuck would he be no because he was retiring because he was like he was a republican but he was one of those guys who like was going against trump at the time and he kind of saw the writing on the wall and was going to retire uh but he was like you know getting his shit off basically so of mm-hmm. course you know how this goes whenever a republican you know, gets their shit off against other Republicans, people think that automatically makes them an ally. Yeah, yeah, like you're automatically an ally, right? So from that point forward, um, it's Jeff Flake. That was his name, Jeff Jeff Flake. Uh, I think from Arizona, maybe, I want to say. But anywho, he gets on stage, he does his little thing, flies in by a helicopter and flies out by a helicopter, by the way, um, hmm. and does his little thing, do 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 this and that. So at one point, some dude from like the UN, I think he's like a diplomat for like the Netherlands or like Norway. Like, forgive me, but I, I don't fucking know. I, I didn't care either. What are these? Global do? Citizens Fest. They do a concert every year. This is in Central Park in New York. I went to the one, I want to say it was like 2016. I can't remember, 2017, 2018. I don't remember. No, it wasn't 2018. Couldn't have been there. So this, but I don't remember what like year. It's like a social event that just happens to have concerts. It's not like a, it, it's, it's not it's, like Coachella. No, it's it's a concert thing, but it's also like a chance for a lot of sponsors and stuff to talk about like the nonprofit and philanthropy work they're doing. Like it's called Global Citizens Fest, right? The whole point of them selling you is selling you on we're doing something for the the world with the proceeds of all of this, right? Which I mean, obviously we know that's not <laughs> entirely the case, but it is what it is. That's what they're doing. Um but yeah, so at some point, one of the diplomats from like Norway or something's up on the stage and he's just talking, talking, talking. And I'm like laying down and I can't see the stage directly because I'm like laying down in the grass in Central Park, but I can see the big ass screen. So I'm watching him on the screen. And then all I see is two guys walk up with like earpieces and walk up, grab him on both sides of his arms. Right. Lift this okay. man up and skedaddle him off the stage. Okay. Now, I see this and I'm immediately like my shit. My antenna is, is busted. I'm like. Hello? If that was me, I would have been like zombie apocalypse. They like, as out. soon as I seen that, I stood up. Like, I'm stood up like, hey, yo, what's going on? So I hear that, I hear that, and then I kind of hear like a loud bang, like a metallic bang, too. And I'm like, hmm. I look to my right, and like, so basically the way it was set up, it was like, it was almost like pens, right? Like, you, you know what I mean? Like, like metal pens. Mm-hmm. 
like and it's probably maybe like maybe a thousand twenty five hundred in each pen per se I, I don't know the exact number but they were pretty deep so i looked to my right and we were like towards the outskirts of the one of the pens i looked to my right and when i tell you i see hundreds if not thousands of people stampeding in my direction and i'm immediately like okay i don't know what happened it's time to go though it, I, it's time to go i pick my shit up we going so uh me and the woman the girl, woman i was with we were gone moving right yeah you ain't even leave her nah i mean she did want to go back to her power you. bank and i was like sis please a power you, bank this ain't just the time gonna, baby you're gonna stick with her in a dangerous situation <laughs> not leave her for dead i held her hand i had to oh my god you, hold, you wasn't was, even like running fast and letting her I trail was, behind I, you and get lost in the crowd he was holding her hand i was scared too you keeping her safe I, we we were keeping. Oh each other. oh no! You were scared. That's why you're we holding hands. You were scared. Things, okay? I okay. needed somebody. I needed emotional. That's a little better. Anyway, That's kind of toxic. So we running, and mind you, when I tell you we ran, I almost got my eye poked out by a damn tree branch. Um, oh. we was sprinting. That's, I, that um, I walked into a tree branch before. Um, don't do that. Smoke your shit. Yeah. No, specifically, I walked into a pine tree in one of the pine tree <laughs> needles. Um, it did some damage to my eye for for quite a while. Um, but yeah, hold on. Let me finish the story because I'm getting off track. Um, so anyway, the whole moral of the story is right while I'm running, the niggas was getting trampled, stampeded and shit. That's just how stampedes go. I seen niggas fall in front of me. Uh, I didn't have to jump over nobody. Luckily, I was just, you know, weaving. But um, I, I seen niggas drop and I didn't see what happened, but I, I didn't get a chance to look back neither. So I just kept going. When you watched uh, the news out, there was how many people uh were trampled I think, to well i don't know no one that like, died or like was severely injured i think some people probably had like serious injuries but like i don't I, you know it might have been a broken one it wasn't like deadly um because it wasn't again it's not fifty thousand in that confined space right it's you know maybe 2500 out of this one pen wow. right so and you know i don't know how many other people ran because there's a good amount of people who stayed right there's plenty of people who stayed came back but then as we were running the police are who are on the outskirts of the shit are just looking at us like, yo, what, what y'all running from? What y'all? And like at that moment, something clicked for me like, okay, something's not right here, but I'm gonna keep running because maybe they just don't know. Like, <laughs> so we keep running, we get to the outskirts of Central Park and all this other shit, right? Blah, blah, blah. And they telling us we can come back, we can come back. So we did. I see on the news later on, right? Uh, basically, what happened was two things happened at the same time. A battery blew up behind the guy on stage. And when the people heard that, his security heard that, they just assumed. Oh nah, nah, mm -mm. get him out of here, like 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 pull him, pull the plug. So okay, reasonable. But then that happened at the same time that one of the metal barriers fell, and so I guess what happened is when that metal barrier fell, that shit made a loud ass bang. You see the dude on stage get snatched, shot. right? Yeah. And I can't see the barrier from where I'm at. All I do is hear it, and I look to my right and I see niggas taking off. So what you think? I'm going with him. And so my thing is, if you got a group of 50,000, that's exactly how a crowd surge happens. Now, obviously, in the case of Astroworld, it was trying to tell niggas to get closer to, you know, telling niggas to rage and so on and so forth. But I think people fail to realize, like, a lot of it, it's not necessarily about individual behavior when it comes to these crowds. Like, you can point out acts of individual behavior when you talk about those niggas dancing on the fucking, the, 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 the paramedics. And, like, that's individual behavior. You yeah, get what I'm saying? Like, that's 100% individual behavior, right? But like when we talk about 50, again, if a nigga's telling you to get closer to the stage, you're just going to push closer to the stage and you slowly push, you slowly push, you slowly push. And then you realize, hey, wait, hold on. I'm a, 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 a crowd member number 2,672 and there's 34,000 niggas behind me pushing. So by, if I stop, even if I do stop, the wave that hits me from behind, I'm going anyway. So it's like you kind of get into a point where it's a surge. That's why they call it a crowd surge. And they're like, you can't control that many people, especially when you're giving them something like, yo, come do this, come do it. Like, because there's, I, you know, I read an article about like the power of crowds and shit like that. And it was talking about they've had issues like this. You know, even remember what the Black Friday sales they used to do mm -hmm. where like niggas would line up. They had ones where like niggas were getting crushed and killed because they had one. Oh, yeah, yeah. I was yeah, a part of most of those. <laughs> I, you know, it's funny. I've never been in person to none of them shits, and I'm glad I wasn't because, like, that's where you see like the power of crowds, nigga. Where it's like you'll I'm see certain shit. Uh, Black Friday sales are fun. I like the calamity. I like running around. I like snatching shit out of people's hands. See, I, I would like, like it if I was just an observer, but if I actually got to participate, like, nah, because then the moment no, somebody just... snatch some shit from me, it's gonna be a problem. Oh yeah, you just gotta handle that problem. 
Well, look, man, I came here to get a 22-8, 28-inch TV. I didn't come here to handle some nigga right at 9.32 a.m., all right? Remember one time we went Black Friday Actually, probably earlier than that. We got, like, like, four, four laptops and three TVs. We didn't need none of them. We just we didn't need none of them. It's, it's just sick. Black Friday. It's cheap. Niggas are consumers. <laughs> yeah. Assigned <laughs> consumer at birth. Yeah, yeah. Or, um, But, yeah, so... um. With the whole Astro World shit, I think obviously Trav um, has to take some responsibility for this one because his name's on it, and two because his hit the type of show that he throws it was it was was just like wait this this was waiting to happen right mm-hmm. now it's just unfortunate it happened on a scale this gigantic because if this happens in a smaller crowd maybe a ten thousand person crowd it it gets bad but it don't get this damn bad you get what I'm saying like and I think it's one of those ones where it's like. Niggas need to hold themselves accountable because if you don't, they will. And you already yeah. see, like, between the police making up their little, you know, fake stories about what was, someone walking around even, with a needle stick. Why did they even say that? Where did that come from? Do you know what I think people fail to realize? It's a process to jab someone with a needle and inject it. Like, that's not just like a movie thing where you just poke and go, right? Like, it's not like the stem from fucking Call of Duty where you just, ah, all right, I'm done. Not like, bro, it's a process, dog. Like, you got to poke, get a vein, presumably, right? And then unload the whole load. It's like, bro, what? Like, even a mosquito don't bite niggas that quick, dog. <laughs> Nobody's just going to sit there and let you put this, push the plunger down completely and yeah, get right. the liquid because in the Not to mention what, you got multiple syringes? You just got a pocket full of syringes? Huh? Or you just got one vial, you just keep reloading the same syringe. Yeah, well, yeah right. He got, he got a fanny, he got a, the, the 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 Batman belt filled with syringes. Like, come on, bro. What am I supposed to believe here? But again, we see what that is. That's the police trying to throw away some responsibility. And so this is what I mean. Like, it's a scenario where now Travis Scott's gonna get smoked because of this. Mm-hmm. Right. And I think part of that is rightfully so, because again, you encourage this behavior. You encourage niggas to rush the gates, you encourage niggas to rush the stage. You've encouraged yeah, niggas to jump he's done off that at like almost every balcony, show, right? Like there was a story about the dude he encouraged him to jump off the second story balcony and he fucking smokes his legs or some shit. There was a story saying? about he stage dived and somebody allegedly tried to take his shoe. And he oh yeah, and they the beat his ass. Yeah, yeah, you know, allegedly. Said, that I right seen there. the video. No, yeah. no, no, no. I'm saying they allegedly. Oh yeah, yeah, I get you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he I told the crowd, "Get his ass, get that nigga." He said, "Beat him up, beat him up." <laughs> and the and the crowd beat his ass. Yeah, that so, part on repeat. Ten hours of beat him up, beat him especially up. with the type of audience that Travis Scott brings in, and yeah, the yeah. type of shows that he throws. It was inevitable to happen. Yeah. So, and that's what I'm saying. So, this is something that, again, like obviously, it's not his fault per se that this happened to this. But my nigga, you have to take responsibility for how your behavior enabled and, in fact, increased the intensity of this type of shit. Right, like, and then at some point, niggas was you got to stop the show, right? Like, I, niggas are saying like you had the police chief saying they couldn't stop the show. You got Trav acting like he can't stop the show. I'm like, so my nigga, whose show is this? Is this is this God's show? God's the only person who can control this show? Yeah, like, or or, or or no, no, no. Hold on. Here's a conspiracy theory. Here's a conspiracy theory. Since niggas uh, was doing that weird satanic shit, the only person who could stop the show is. Hmm. Nobody could stop the show. It was meant to go like this. It mm. wasn't going to stop. Mm, see? But anyway. <laughs> but I would think the stage handlers, well, apparently it was a shit show from top to bottom, so it wasn't. Oh, like yeah, yeah, yeah. People yeah. working there to begin with. Yeah, they I were saying there were security Travis plans that weren't followed. He didn't even know. Yeah. I think yeah. so. Again, I think, I think Travis this... was stop the show because he didn't know because they were saying he went to an after party with Drake At afterwards Dave and, Buster, and they didn't yeah. even fucking. First I'm off, like, bro, I'm sorry. Nah, there's going no... to Busters? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But two, there's no way in the face of a tragedy I get my last meal for a while at Dave and Buster's. <laughs> like, like, if I see a tragedy, like, oh my God, eight people died at my concert. There was a mess. All right, let's just go I to Dave and Buster's and, and see this yeah. night out. And then in the there's morning, the, I'll yeah. deal with it. Get the fuck. No, I don't think He didn't there. know. So Travis wasn't going to stop the show. It's definitely the people, his stage handlers, they could have went in the microphone in his ear like, yo, stop the show. Somebody, yeah, someone can stop the show. Like, I don't, I don't hear that. Level, someone the had, show. and to me, my opinion is that whether it be the promotion teams or Live Nation or whoever it was, someone there could have stopped the show. The police could have stopped the show. I, yeah. I don't want to hear that shit. Um, 
Like I'm like, bro, the police are a paramilitary organization. Cut it. They could have threw out. some tear gas into the ground. Yeah, 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 right. You could have smoke grenaded the stage and popped up out of the smoke. The show is over. Like, stop it. You could have stopped anything you wanted, dog. Like, I don't want to hear that. I don't want to hear that. Especially in in, in in Texas. Texas police? Texas? No, Texas I don't want to hear it. Hands open. I don't want to hear it. But anyway. Um, but yeah, so that's why, you know, and, and to me, I'm like top to bottom, this is a failure, right? Because there's probably plans, safety plans and all that type of shit. And niggas, you know, let's be real here. We've seen that time and time again, niggas avoid them because they don't want to hire extra people. So it's from top to bottom, it all comes back to money, right? The money is the issue for all of this, right? And unfortunately, that's the whole thing. It's capitalism. This is what happens when it goes wrong. There's no oversight. There's no one to pay attention to anything. And so far from what we're seeing, it looks like they're just going to sue the dog shit out of Travis Scott. Maybe the promoters, maybe these other people, and then they're all going to bicker amongst each other about who's going to take the most blame. Right. And it's probably going to be Travis Scott because he's got the least juice out of Live Nation and national, you know, p- promoters. Like, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, it's a shame. Travis Scott in the Venmo. I mean, the Venmo, the venue, probably. The venue is going to get Yeah, yeah, right, yeah, right, right, yeah, right, exactly, right? So, don't, yeah, they're going to let them get cooked. And then... Then there was the thing with the 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 the, the therapy thing. That was oh, what the fuck was that? This nigga that was offered, a mass attempt to try to save face. This nigga offered these niggas a free month of therapy. A free month. Yo, but you know what's crazy? A people month. were saying people were saying that the app one that the app is like a, a data collection front that sells their shit to third party niggas. But two, dog, they were saying the app already gives you a free month trial. <laughs> <laughs> the oh, app man. gives that to you like you get it like if you were to sign up for the app today you get a free month even without the code even without none of that so dog you basically just promoted this app I think like you you said you was giving us a free month it's not like you didn't even actually partner with the app to get a free month or maybe you did and we're going to use your code hey, what if you get two months free <laughs> you get one you yeah, know you, you get the free month and then you use the code it's lit and then you get the extra second month the code That's how it was works. It, it's lit it had to be what else could it have been? Look like. Hmm. Giving you something to think about there, huh? I've never thought about anything. Or but, what if it could be Astro World to really fuck with them? Or just Astro. But yeah, no, I mean like dog, like there was just bad, bad, badness from all of you know, every front here. Um and I to think me the people that are above Travis that are orchestrating all this don't give a fuck and i think travis is too dumb to understand the gravity of the situation that he's in because he promoted this shit i think he might have been i think he might have been but you gotta understand who he who who he with like who his girl is and who his girl's mother is like he understands the the, the depth of this this shit now he may not have gotten it 12 hours after it happened you get what i'm saying well if he understood the gravity then why the fuck would he promote the therapy shit Cause, Cause that was you got to know it's a bad move. Because niggas are depraved capitalists. What are you talking about? No, I mean, it's a bad I'm move is, optically, but at, yeah. I'm fucked optically. Optically, I'm fucked. I'm I'm burnt. I'm I'm burnt. Cops are telling stories about random sickos walking. Around. You get what I'm saying? Like the optics are screwed. The optics are finished. So niggas are like, look, bro, you can get a five hundred thousand dollar bag here. I might pay for ten settlements. You should get that. <laughs> you should take that. You know what I'm saying? Because you might have to save that money for some settlements. It sounds nasty, but financially speaking, it makes sense. Plus, wasn't it like a stipulation? Anybody that took the the payout for the funeral service and took the um, the free month of site uh, therapy, they weren't allowed to sue. Live so I Nation saw that, contract. and I don't know why people were saying that because the refund. Okay, so it wasn't true. Yeah, well, no, it wasn't confirmed. Um, it, it it seems like something a company would do. That's I I get why that's people why people believed it, but um, the issue is the refund was for the show being canceled. They issued refunds because they had to. That was in the contract. Like they they couldn't have avoided issuing refunds. Yeah, talk about the refund. I'm talking about people were saying um, the people that chose to have Travis Scott pay for the funeral cost. Then I mean, how would we know that? How would we know that? You get what I'm saying? That's that's what I mean. I, it, it sounds sick because that's what we think sick capitalist niggas would do. And they, there's some that would. But how do we know that? Unless we, we don't. It was just niggas the NDA no or some shit like that. Because don't get me wrong, I don't put that past anybody. You get what I'm saying? I don't put that past a rich nigga to be like, look, bro, you take this little, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I don't. I don't. I'm not saying niggas wouldn't do it. So I'm not defending a nigga. I, I don't know. But to me, it's just like, why are we pretending like that's what it is for sure? Like, like we've seen somebody get a, you know what I mean? Like, like we have no idea. That's, we're just guessing there. 
Um, but it's bad. It's it it's it's bad. Uh, it's it's very unfortunate because, like I said, I've been in a smaller type of event and it was bad. But when niggas described like what a crowd surge is and like how it's like, you know what I mean? Like really hearing the descriptions of like how it is inside of these crowds on different times and like this shit is nuts. Like I'm yeah. just like, hey, yo, bro, like 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 it's just too many people. The oxygen, you get suffocated, crushed, fix. All types of wild shit going on, man. Like it's just that shit is super unfortunate. And uh yeah, man, prayers to the families. Uh y'all sue that nigga and Live Nation and all the rest of them niggas for everything they worth, man. I yeah, mean, it is what okay. it is. I obviously that ain't gonna change the the outcome, but <laughs> fuck it. Get yours. Shit, even the families. So obviously the people, the families that passed away are suing, but if I was in the crowd, I would just sue for emotional distress. Yeah, I'm suing, period. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm we suing, doing period. Nigga, I could have got out of that crowd, like, safely, like, before all the wild shit happened and then seen some of the sicko yeah, shit. Yeah, I could have left still... early in the day and watched it on the news, and I'm saying, oh, yeah. <laughs> exactly. I, mean, so I ain't gonna hold you. My man was off the beans at, like, 8.30, so we was way out of there. They don't know that. They don't know what time I left. I was yeah, there. Huh? Mm. Yeah, I'm definitely joining that uh, shit. I'm joining live action lawsuit. Live action. I'm joining live action. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joining the class action lawsuit now. I wasn't even there. They don't know. Shit, they don't know. They gonna check. I'm gonna have a ticket somehow. Somehow. <laughs> Boy gonna forge a ticket. <laughs> forge a ticket. He said, bro, this is come on, man. This shit say Delta and then you forged United plane numbers on here. You just like, oh, oh, so different, different airlines numbers. got different. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh so, okay. So this actually. Oh, the Delta ones start with a D. Ago. Okay, because it's Delta, right? I see. I can see why they would do that. Oh, it's like UPS and FedEx. They got different numbers. Oh, like oh, you know how like, okay, okay, like the numbers is grouped differently on American Express versus like Visa. So that's oh, okay. That's how y'all doing it. That's how y'all doing. It. All right, nigga, taking notes. Like, all right. Remember that for next time. Yeah. So you saying this Astro World ticket from three years ago not gonna work now? If I just <laughs> I change the date, I got some white out. He said it got it got different acts on it. <laughs> Talk about now featuring J Cole. <laughs> he was like, when was J Cole Astro World? He was scheduled to be on, but it got canceled. <laughs> he said, nah, cause they were in talks and they signed the paperwork, but you know, last second he got a mono tuberculosis. And uh, he couldn't perform. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's That's like it. it's um, it's a uh, what they call it. like you know how long COVID is like a, a side effect of long COVID. It's like long it's, COVID. It's what is long COVID? It's like the COVID that just keep going. I don't want that. Yeah, it's like oh damn, like you don't got the antibodies no more, but you like, like you still got COVID. Like nah, nah, I don't. No, nah. That's crazy. You so just, like. You just keep COVID for the rest of your life. You just be asymptomatic and you always got it. That'd be Not, fucked up. You just constantly infecting up. people. Oh my God. Should just never go. Damn. That's scary to think about. Well, then again, I mean, hey, how, I'm asymptomatic. Fuck everybody. Say, that's how herpes work, ain't it? Not always. You don't always be asymptomatic. Uh, well, yeah. But you can. Sometimes you got them flare ups. Scary. All right, let's see. It'd be what fucked up if you be good for like three months and then the second you got an appointment lined up, you get a flare up. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> I mean, look, man, I got a story about uh about flare ups, but I I probably shouldn't tell the story publicly, so uh, I'll keep it to myself. But I'll uh, tell it for you. You you couldn't. You don't know the nuance of herpes flare ups. I. You're right, I don't. <laughs> you don't. Yes, yeah, so you don't. So I <laughs> So you know what I would do? I would shut my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know the nuances of any STD flare ups, thank God. I don't either, man. I don't either. Good. We too healthy motherfuckers then. You know what I always think about? I always think you, you when y'all took sex ed did y'all ever have like a sex ed or like health classes where they talked about sex? Like cause ours my life is a blur. I don't gender. remember anything before 2010. 
Valid, valid. Uh, I don't remember anything before 2008, but that's only because the world didn't exist before Obama became president. And I've said this multiple times, but... Um, <laughs> I feel like, I think I have multiple sex eds. I think when I was in middle school... Oh, like, man. They just couldn't like, stop teaching you how to fuck. I think middle school, we had, like, the scare tactics. They put sex. you in the premium... The premium... No, we, we, had class, the, like, the normal, oh, yeah. we had the normal scare tactic where they just showed all the diseases you get, all the STDs. And then once I nigga, got to high cringe. school, you want crab, then nigga? we had like the real health, like in how sex works. So we got the scare tactic, and then we got the legit product in high the year school. after that. They're like, I ain't gonna hold you. I ain't seen a nigga with crabs in like 30, 40 years. So I don't even know if they're still out there, to be real with you. So like I always wondered what's to stop a louse from traveling down to your crotch area. And becoming a crab, and what's to stop a crab from traveling up to your head and becoming a louse? It's just not their speed. That's like I feel like that's what it probably. It's like it's almost like asking like, can someone from HR just come down and work on the floor? Like, nah, man, it's not their speed, bro. It's not they they destiny. All right, all right. All right. So like, say you sleeping at a dirty nigga house, and mm-hmm. for whatever reason he got crabs on his pillow. He put his dick on the pillow, and mm-hmm. you lay your head on the pillow, and the crabs get in your hair. Are they just mm-hmm. not gonna stick around in your head? They gonna leave or are they gonna stick around? You get a what couple bites and be like, "All right, we gotta go. We gotta head out, y'all." Things, right? No, this this not. Yeah, right yeah, he said. Mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. He said, "Yo, taste this, taste this. This straight to you." <laughs> this, said, this, this shit nah, looks spicy, nah, ain't it? This don't taste right. Nah, where you get this from? He said, "Yeah, okay, all right." I thought so. Oh, it's all not right. just me. Okay. He said, "All right, look, yo, if y'all want any more, y'all get a bite, and we finna head out soon, cause." Oh, something up with this shit. Yeah, no. And another I think thing, it's just fleas. Mm. Fleas don't, don't care. They just be biting, right? Basically, yeah. Fleas just eat. Be hopping. Eat. I hop. I eat. I'm simple. Yeah. Um. Yeah. No. Nah, I don't rock with fleas or louse or ticks or. I, I, hate, I just hate I hate small creatures that like latching on the niggas. Parasites. You just hate parasites. I hate y'all type of niggas, man. I hate like that's the same reason why I don't like mosquitoes. It's just like what you bothering me for, bruh? Oh, you need me. Like, get the fuck. Yo, go ahead, bruh. Go ahead. Niggas need me. I need a host. Y'all niggas is lame. Get it on your own. Get it out the mud, nigga. Grind for yours. They are. That's you the grind. No, the fuck they not. You are the grind. Them niggas running from the grind. There's I'm a, the grind. Nah, they running from the grind. All parasites are bad, but there's definitely worse parasites than fleas and... Uh, I want them all dead, so I don't care. Yeah. I treat all the niggas with the same level of hatred. Yeah. No, no, no. I treat some with more hatred. Every nah, worm that need enters to turn the it human up. body, I want y'all. Nah, I don't need to turn it up. I, I'm, on, I'm on 52 out of, out of 10 with all of them niggas. Ape worms, get them out of here. Lung oh. flukes, get them out of here. Shit don't even, lung flukes. This shit don't even sound right. What is you in my lungs for? <laughs> right, how did you even get there? How you just how instinctively you... know where to go in my and then, and, and then what? Heart and worms? then what? Like, how you know to get there? You enter worms. through my toe. How the fuck you get all the way up there? And why are you in my heart in the first place? What's the shit um, that causes elephant teasis? Elephantitis? It's a, it's a fucking worm that gets in your lymphatic system. And your it causes your glands to swell. So like, good for nothing. You seen those niggas with elephant uh, yeah, legs yeah. get gigantic? I ha- I've like, seen the elephant man. How does man, a yeah. worm just get into? Well, the elephant man didn't have elephant titus. That was something different. Yeah, but you know. the swollen limbs, um, that's a, you know same thing. But yeah, how does a worm just get into your lymphatic system and clog up? Bro, the I don't even know how to get in my lymphatic system. Wait, I don't even know where that is. You said it's probably near the um, what like the left or right nymph or lymph? <laughs> and then there's different types of every type of parasite. Why is it, why I got to be ninety different types of tapeworms? Why is it one type of tapeworm to just hang out in the intestines? But if I get bad, let me get a different type. Then they go to my brain and start eating it. What's up with that? Or better yet, they even remember that there was one of them bacteria that hang out in like tap water or something that like if oh, it, the brain it, eating yeah the brain eating one then they got the neurotic one that like just neurosis and eat your skin a lot i'm just like for yeah. what bro what are y'all getting out of this because i'm gonna I'm like, die and then you're gonna die afterwards 
I'm just like, yo, what planet do we live on, yo? Like, this shit seemed like some alien type shit. Why are we doing this? I, I'm this big, this strong. You telling me this little microscopic nigga gonna climb into my lungs and destroy me? That right. whole brain eating amoeba shit is terrifying. Because what if you accidentally snort some water in the shower? Now you dead. You done for, nigga. You done. You done for. You can wake up with a headache the next day. Wake up the next day with with one wow. of your eyes. You ain't got eyesight in one of your eyes. I used to waterboard myself as a kid all the time too. I could have died. To waterboard, yeah, you probably could have died, not from the uh, the parasites, but from you never you know, just put a washcloth on your face torture. and just let the shower run over the washcloth. I absolutely, with one hundred percent certainty, can say that I did do that, which I is know. also waterboarding. So I, I you thought fact, I was exaggerating when myself. I said it. <laughs> huh. <laughs> yeah, we it's a yeah. stark reality we must face. Yeah, you thought I was exaggerating something when I said waterboarding, huh? No, just uh, I've been mock uh mock drowned before. That wasn't very good. I've been literally drowned before and resuscitated. Well, I didn't get drowned. Nobody yeah, drowned. yeah, I get what I you drowned. mean. I feel like if you got to get resuscitated though, like, because is drowning. So you know how like electrocuted and shocked mean two different things. Like electrocuted is the death from the shock. Yeah, is drowning like the death from the, or is drowning just like you can I think drowning drown is- and live. Like you can drown and live, or or just do you have to die to drown? Is what I'm asking. No, you can drown and live, but I you think have to die and get electrocuted. That's how that have, works. Yeah, okay, yeah. Because okay. you can, so like you can drown and stop breathing because your lungs are full of water. But if they, yeah, which is a small guy push all the water out. Le petit mot. Your brain activity, as long as they resuscitate you within like a minute, your brain activity is normal. You good? You probably won't even see no lights at that point. You probably just. You sleepy. You in a little water coma. <laughs> when I, I, always drive, wonder. I definitely don't remember seeing no lights or no out of body experience. I just one minute I was swimming, the next minute I was waking up on shore. <laughs> he was doing that the slow eye blink when niggas looking down at him. Oh, okay, he's up. He just oh man, <laughs> damn what happened? I, what makes it worse is when I drowned. I was on vacation. He said, I was, "Did I lose?" Uh, did I lose? <laughs> the The worst part about driving was that I was on vacation, so it ruined the vacation. Oh, uh, that's fucked up. I was, um, <laughs> Come on, we were, you could you could drive at home, nigga. <laughs> we were on a cruise, and we were at one of the the destinations. Uh, we were in uh, we were in Cozumel, Mexico, and we went snorkeling. And at this point, I've never been in the ocean before. I've only been in like lakes and pools. Mm-hmm. Um, and nobody told me that the the ocean just go down. Like, cause you know, in a lake, it's like a steep slope. Like it'll slowly go down after a while. I was walking in the ocean cause I was, I was tall. I was like six foot one at that point. So I was still, I still my head above, above water and I'm just walking, you know, I'm walking. And then I take a step and I just fall down. It's he like said, I stepped off a cliff. Said, it go down, Terry. It, it, goes, <laughs> it was like that fucking um, Looney Tunes. Was it, uh, the, the coyote? coyote. Yeah. I just step off the cliff and I see it for a second. Cliff, like, turn uh, around, look. Oh, that's the ledge. Oh, okay. And I pulled up the side <laughs> and said, "Bye." And then I just <laughs> fell straight down. Um, and since I wasn't prepared to just fall straight down, I immediately inhale because I'm scared because I'm falling. So all the water goes in my snorkel, and then mm. oh, burnt. Yeah, we burnt. Boy, burnt. And and since it was in the ocean, it was salt water, so literally burnt. Tasty. Don't inhale salt water. It's mm. a... Sna- a nice little snackerino. Yeah, that wasn't a. I wouldn't. I wouldn't recommend drowning. It's not a fun way to die. If, yeah, I if wouldn't you recommend gotta drown, either. drown in like a lake or something. Salt water makes it worse. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend being mock drowned either. Um, you know, it's one of those things where I, I do have respect for people in the movies, like who like. Like somebody's getting drowned in those movies. Or people in the navy, you literally have to get drowned and resuscitated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but uh, the people in the movies, yeah, those guys are the real heroes, you know. Because uh, you know, I mean, listen, can you imagine like you're getting fake drowned and they're just kai kai kai. I mean, come on, would you fucking drown the guy? And you got to keep getting drowned over. All right, over. let's run it back. Let's run it back. And they're like, I thought I was drowned. Was was I squeezing too hard? And you're like, yeah, just a little bit, a little bit. He think. Meanwhile, this guy thinks choking, they drowning. Yeah, you were. Yeah, you you were. Like, it was not enough water and just too much choking. Like you were just too focused on the asphyxiation part. The water will do it. 
Okay, right, 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 right. Okay, okay. All right, they do it again. He's just cut, cut, cut. Just come over here and show you guys how to fucking drown him, man. Let's go. Like, can you imagine? Those guys are the real heroes. Because the nigga, what, what you, you get drowned or resuscitated a nigga once. Ooh, okay, big deal. Right? In the movies, bro. Imagine. 18 shots of this. And then it still ain't right. And the director said, you know what? Fuck it. Fuck it. I'm tired of doing this scene. He ain't even worried about your safety. He tired of doing the scene. He ain't stopped because... Yeah, he ain't stopped because you was your brain was you know your your vein in your head popping out and your your face red. No, I ain't stopping for that reason. He said, you know what? I'm just I'm over it. I'm over it. Take five minute break. We'll figure out what we're gonna do with this and come on back. I got a lot of respect for those guys because uh, I didn't. And it took it took a couple takes too. Like we did it the first time, and I was kind of mad because the first time it happened, I was under there and I was like, these niggas ain't convincing at all. Like I can feel it. Because it just wasn't enough force. It was. It was just like, bro. Like, he was just underwater. <laughs> yeah, I was like, my head was just underwater, and I was just going for a little brisk swim, like, and I'm just like, hell, look, guys, listen, you, you're gonna have to like r- rustle it around a little bit. I'll, I'll, I'll do a lot of shoulder movements. Well, I mean, and, like, was the was were you bad acting? Were you not thrashing around enough? Like he was trying. No, to no, no, no. Or... So that's what it was. So, like I was doing the thrashing, but the problem is, if you're not applying enough force. Oh, so like, it didn't even look like they was holding. Yeah, right, right, right. Like, yeah, that's it. Looked acting. like I was fighting for my life from a guy who's not even like restraining me (laughs) you know what i'm saying like so i'm just like all right listen if i'm gonna fight for my life you have to fight back like it's no other way that this is gonna work because otherwise i'm just gonna be flashing and thrashing about but like your hand is just you're gonna look like you like it just looked like he was losing you get what i'm saying like and it's like the nigga losing then you would have came back up you wouldn't exactly right right, exactly i wouldn't have stayed thrashing i would have came up so we had to do it a couple times and uh yeah yeah, it was pretty rough towards the end. Um, but uh I think it came out well. I think it came out well. So uh Yeah, um what else? What else we got in here? Um PP poo poo water. We do we do not have PP and poo poo water, unfortunately. We we are we're fresh out. There's a guy who came in before you, um, right before we closed and he just bought up the last of what we have. Why he why would he buy something like that? I think he said he was going to, uh, I don't know, the meeting of executives or something. I don't know. I don't know what he was doing. I, mean, I guess it depends on whose PP and poo poo water it was. Does it? I mean, like, does it? Like, like at all? I mean, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it does matter. But there's like worse PP water? Are there, are there tiers of PP? I won't be elaborating. He said, "I will not elaborate." Nigga said, "There's tears of pee pee water." Is it Kool Bailey poo poo pee pee water? He said, "So like, what's like the Bentley of of pee pee water?" Is it Diane Guerrero poo poo pee pee water? No, no. All right. All right. Well, speaking of the opposite of poo poo pee pee water, which is fantastic and amazing is drinks, opposite. yes. <laughs> Let's talk about Elden Ring, baby. Because that is the opposite of doo water, the opposite of hot dog water, sausage water, all of that. This what this kind of water? Is sexy. It? I don't even. This ain't water, nigga. This is this is a juice, a, a nectar, if you will. A nectar of the gods. What, what's that? Is, is ambrosia the 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 drinkable one, or is it the food? There's ambrosia, ambrosia yeah. and what's yeah. the other one? Mm-hmm. Oh, I don't no. know what you're getting at. It's two foods. It's like ambrosia and something. I think nectar might be it. Food, oh, and, food uh, or drink. Ambrosia is both. Never mind, sorry. In Hades, the game, you get nectar and ambrosia and give both to different deities. So oh, I'm I'm getting nectar, period. So it don't matter. But you um, nectar, nectar? No, never. But uh Elden Ring looks pretty look, first and foremost, let me just clarify. I don't play Soulsborne games, Soulsborne games. But this looks pretty good. I'm gonna play. I'm gonna do it. Are I'm you gonna, gonna do play? it. I, first really off, do not ever question the things I say, because I frequently will lie, and this is not one of those times. Two Are you lying about this not being one of those times. <laughs> Two, um, this looks real good. It looks real good. Um, for whatever what reason, it's been hard. For- different about it than other Soulsborne games, other than the obvious, the fact that it's open world and no fall damage, and uh. It, the fact it looks better than other souls games. so yeah okay well but beyond those things that you mentioned um yeah practically the same game right um 
yeah, I mean, beyond those things, no, nothing's exciting about this game. But um, I like the open world. Uh, I thought that was nice. Uh, I had remember seeing this game a while back, like a long. I can't even put a date on it. It might as well have been like 2010. Like, I, who knows? <laughs> like, I remember seeing, hearing something about this, seeing like concept art, like seven. I don't. I don't even remember. I really don't it, genuinely remember. But it was it's really probably long. been about. Probably like four years, maybe five years. I don't know. Uh, whenever Bloodborne came out, I want to say two years after that. Wait, no, yeah. that was Sekiro. This, I don't remember. It's probably been about three years for this. Three? It feels like even longer. That's what I'm saying. Like, that's my whole point. But I feel like I've been getting teased this for like decades, and now it's finally coming out. And it looks great. And it looks great, most importantly. So um, it, it looks... Be- even more like Dark Souls than uh, Bloodborne or Sekiro, and I'm excited about that. Sekiro went back to like feudal Japan, mm-hmm. and you were a shinobi. Mm-hmm. Um, Bloodborne was like gothic, yeah, um, I remember. some crazy Mad Hatter shit and blood moons and squid people. Mm-hmm. This is literally this looks like Dark Souls three. It's it, back to like the I don't even know what era it is. It's like not medieval, but yeah, it's, it, yeah. It's back. It's magic and yeah, dragons. Knight, and... Knights of the Templar shit kind of covers it. That's like as as close as I get. Yeah, so it's it's going back to that open world. No fall damage. That's a big thing because I died a lot in every Souls board game. From well, fall. yeah, they did open world. There, they, I I feel like they had to know. All right, look, bro. Ain't no way I'm gonna let a nigga stand on top of a rock, jump off, and break his legs. <laughs> uh. Oh, you can also ride horseback now, which is incredible. Um, there's a map where you can ping locations. No, oh, fuck. That's Yo, oh my goodness. next level for a Soulsborne game. Um, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, to me, this is every Like, I love, like, games like this. So the fact that it's a Soulsborne game don't even mean shit to me, to be honest. Think about, like, I, I, Fallout, any open world game, Fallout mixed with Soulsborne. Or... Yeah, so that's, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, to me, it's like just off of the the the, the concept art I've seen, the, like what I've seen, I, not even like gameplay. I'm talking about just visuals, and then knowing and hearing about what the game is, how it works. This, I'm like, bro, I'm sold. I don't, I don't want, I don't even, I don't care. Like, I don't care. Like, don't get me wrong. I never played none of the Soulsborne games. I don't have interest in playing the Soulsborne games. I'm gonna play this. You know, this is, the this good is, thing about Soulsborne games is you don't need to play any of them because only Dark Souls one, two, and three are connected. Sekiro and Bloodborne have nothing to do with it. So this well, game had nothing to do with the previous games, so it's not like mm-hmm. you need to know lore from the previous games. Oh, yeah, yeah. I and also, seen. Soulsborne games don't give you lore anyway. You have to go looking for it. So there's not, like, story shit going on. Mm-hmm. You literally get the lore from picking up items. You don't oh, yeah, talk yeah, to yeah. people and find shit. Like, you read all the lore in the game, so yeah, it's like, you um, don't need to know nothing. Kind of like how, uh, what, like Resident Evil used to do and shit like that? Yeah. I do like games like that. that. Yeah, no, they definitely stop. But I do like games that kind of uh, make you go hunting for it, right? Like a game to where like you could just run through it, enjoy yourself, and be like, all right, I don't give a shit about the story and enjoy yourself. But at the same time, if you put the time in, put the work in, you can piece it all together and really, you know, figure it all out. Because I feel like too many games like default to that collection based thing, right? Where like they're just like, all right, we got to give people something to collect. But again, they don't even try. They don't even care about lore. It's not even about lore. They're just like, all right, just come up with content for what they're going to collect. It doesn't matter. Just write a story from whoever's perspective to whoever. Like, it's not about lore. Like, like Dragon Age was good for that, right? Like, they were good for, there were so many things you pick up and read and, see, and it, none of the shit was useful. It was just yeah. a book on some imaginary shit. And it's just like, don't get me wrong. Like, I appreciate the depth you guys put into this, but this was entirely wasted when you could have put some lore here. Or yeah, you could have just put nothing here and saved this for something else. Yeah, you know, it's like y'all. You know, you could have easily taken away ten or twenty percent of your brain power that y'all used on this, and applied it somewhere else. Um, but I yeah, never, no. Um, took the time to read all the Lauren Dark Souls. I just played them, and then when it looked up, yeah, Dark yeah. Souls explained on YouTube. That's yeah. That's I, I like to to play shit kind of that way. Like certain games, like you just you know, there's a lot going on, so it's 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 hard to catch it all while you're playing like like metal gear is one of those games where like there's times yeah. 
where I, there were times where I was playing four and I had to stop while I was playing it and dead look up a nigga name. And I'm like, who the fuck is, and Wait, is a this? nigga from the first game? Yeah, and it's a guy from Metal Gear or something. And I'm like, I'm not, I didn't play that shit. <laughs> Bro, that was like 8-bit. Come on, man. Um, But, yeah, so that looks pretty exciting. Um, what else we got? We got Battlefield and we got Call of Duty. Um, this Call of Duty drop was quiet. It felt quiet, right? And I'm just saying that it felt quiet. It, it, it you felt know, quiet to us because we were Yeah, the numbers, the numbers could show possibly that it was loud as fuck. I don't know. It just, I mean, they it, had it a just, whole event. Remember that Lil Jon could be Yes, unfortunately. Unfortunately, I do remember that shit. That nigga was terrible, yo. Oh, my God. So, it was quiet for us because we <laughs> were not looking forward to this in the slightest. That nigga was awful, yo. I don't understand. Like, even if you never played a video game before, he was just, like, walking around randomly shooting in the sky. Dog, that like, nigga looked like look the last time he played face. video games, it only had one stick on the controller. Like Literally, yeah. He looked like he had, what the fuck am I supposed to do with the right stick? <laughs> And he was wearing sunglasses inside at a dark event. Yeah, I'm crying. That man didn't care nothing about his vision. Yeah, he and he was. You know, he was fried. So that (laughs) that shit was so. The way he was shooting, yo, he was. He like you said, it's like he only had one. Like he would move, (laughs) and then he would aim, and then he would shoot. Like he was was, doing one thing at a time. He was playing like he had his hand, one of his hands tied behind his back. He was just using one arm to do the left and the right. <laughs> oh man, that shit was so funny. Um, but yeah, uh, it looks decent so far. We'll see. Um, what do you uh, mean? It's out already. No, that's what I said. It looks decent so far from uh, what I played. Okay. Like it, it, it's it's decent so far. It's not um, it's nothing groundbreaking. Still, I think dropping with sixteen maps was dope. I think that was a huge I step in the right been direction. Shitting on this game ever since I heard. That it was gonna be World War Two, because mm-hmm. I'm I'm just 100. No, yeah, no, 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 no. I hear you. Setting. I hear you. So I've been shitting on this game and just been totally against it. I said I wasn't gonna get it. I said there's no way Kyle will <laughs> get my money this year. Never suck greedy my money. dick. Those greedy bitches at Activision. You're not gonna <laughs> get a rat dime from me. And then I started looking at the gameplay and I'm like, damn, this looks fun. And I bought it and I'm like, damn, this looks fun. And then I played it and I was like, damn, this is fun. I said, damn, this this seems fun. <laughs> but is it's it like, really? <laughs> <laughs> it's like uh so Modern Warfare was a giant campathon. They changed the maps totally. They went from a three lane system to sit there and fucking be prone and camp. So that's why I didn't like Modern Warfare. Uh Cold War didn't change what Modern Warfare did, so I didn't like Cold War. The last Call of Duty game that I liked, ironically enough, was World was War World II. War II. Mm-hmm. So they literally just took World War, World War II, II and gave it, the and then took Warfare all policy. exactly. They took all the good things from Modern Warfare with the gunsmith and all the attachments and all the good stuff from Cold War, which there might not have been much. They might have just took everything from Modern Warfare, but <laughs> they basically uh, the, the, the dog kill streak. <laughs> they had the dog kill streak. There you go. They got the Modern Warfare kill streaks. Instead of the futuristic, uh, no, they got the sorry, they got the Black Ops kill streaks instead of the Modern Warfare mm-hmm. kill streaks. So they literally just took World War Two and then made it futurized. Yeah. So yeah. it's a good so, game. Uh, yeah. So I mean, that's pretty much it. Like this is there's still maps that aren't three lane. Like it's like three and a half, maybe four even. Ooh. They but have like, some big maps too because there's a game mode um, or a game type called Blitz where it's basically like ground war where it's 18 versus 18. And mm. they literally have a whole playlist called um, Large Map Blitz, where it's bigger maps, like almost as big as Ground War for Modern Warfare, but not quite. Mm-hmm. Like, think about the biggest map you can think of in a Black Ops game. That's about the size of the map. Okay, so 18 probably... 18 probably gets hectic then, I would imagine. It does. And it's still... It's fun. Like I was telling you, we were on, um, we were on that one map, House, Das, das House. Das House. It's basically like the new shipment, and there's a Blitz game mode for that. So, like, we were playing with, like, eight people. Imagine 18 versus 18 on DOS House. 
No fucking way. <laughs> that would be fucking calamity. Calamity's not the word, bro. There'd be so many thermites. So that's the one thing, right? So obviously it's early, right? The tech's just emerging. But um, I think, and I know they won't, but I think they should do something with the um, the order of the perks in terms of like when you unlock them. And like, I, I think they should maybe consider moving one of the better perks towards the front. You, you know, know why I, mean? I think they had the good perks towards the bottom because they specifically designed this game to be run and gun. So it's not a campathon like Modern Warfare. So they got right, 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 ghost right, right. and cold blooded at the bottom because niggas want to run around and be sneaky. Well, I, I wasn't so, even necessarily talking about them. I, really, what I was kind of getting at was just um, something to deal with the lethals, right? Because the thermite in this game is 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 nuts. Um, the first perk you get in the first tree makes it so you take less damage from. Uh, I know, lethal. and I have it, and I still, <laughs> still get smoke by <laughs> thermites. Is what I'm saying, right? Yeah, <laughs> so it, like, it helps with grenades. But it don't have with everything but a thermite. With thermite, yeah. I, I think they have thermite. I think they gonna have to not nerf but tone down the thermites a little bit. And but they, see, that was the really... thing. I'm a guy who I don't necessarily like to nerf items. I'm more so. That's why I said I, don't nerf. Just turn yeah, it down. Literally. I'm more so of a guy is... who likes to buff counters, right? Like mm-hmm. so that way, like because I I would rather have a game where everything's cheap, so almost everything goes, versus a game where you know we turn toned down and nerf all the cheap shit. So now there's only two or three meta guns, and then yeah. everybody's just using the same meta guns. Right, exactly. Where Make it's just everything. Like, all right, well, I'll just use the MP40 and STG. Yo, or I'll just use this perk. Like, there's only one good perk from the first class, so I'll use this one. There's only, you know what I mean? So I think, you know, maybe we should swap some of that around. I also would like a specialist, but I know they're not going to do that. Remember specialist from Modern from Warfare World 3? War. And yeah. was it and in World War II? It was. It was in World War II. Mm, okay. But I, that would be dope. I would like that. Um, that would Where be Where you could just dope. get different perks for score streaks and stuff. Yeah, of, yeah, uh, just keep getting your perks. Yeah, that yeah. would be dope. I think they that should would be dope. add that. But I, I don't see why... Oh, I guess I could see why because like if you haven't tested that, then that I think it was in Ghost too, wasn't it? Uh, it might have been, but I can see why you like it's hard because if you didn't test for that, you can't just add that in. You know what yeah, I mean? Exactly. Because that could break. You got to build right a whole there. game around that. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah that in it. because again, the perks might look this or that, but once you know you get nah, you could easily shift the tide of how such shit gets with that. So I I can see that. Um, but uh, Battlefield dropped. Uh, dropped to last night today. It drops today at twelve. Oh, it drops today at twelve. Okay, so uh, no I'm review on that. Late for it. No review on that. Um, I I probably won't. No, I won't be up late for that. I know I won't. It's only twelve. Uh, the game's gonna be on until like eleven. So I'd be tired by like ten. My sleep <laughs> schedule is normal now. I do be sleep. I'll be falling asleep halfway through the game, and I just wake up and see if I want any money or not. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Um, but yeah, so Battlefield ought to be good. That I I'll tell you what, if I get on that game and that glitch from the beta is on, I will I will I will not play that shit. There's because no I won't way, have a choice. There's there's no way that they would still keep something that detrimental from the beta. I would hope play. not. I would hope not. But we, you know, we'll have to see, bud. We'll have to see. But um, yeah, no. So um, I'm excited. I'm excited for that. Uh, some good games. Some good games on our. It's gonna get. It's gonna get wild for the games in the next. You know, four to five, even six months. Really, it's gonna be yeah. a. It's gonna be um, real nutty out here. We yeah, because once we hit January, we are gonna get games like well, Elden Ring comes out next year, February. So obviously that's fire. And then uh, what's the zombie game? Dying Light Two, that's coming out next year, early either January, or February. That's gonna be fire. Damn, I'm gonna have too much to play. That seafood game, the martial arts game, that's coming out in February. That's gonna be fire. The new Borderlands game, Tina's Tiny Wonderland. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That comes out, I think, in March. That's gonna be fire. And then of course, all the shit that we saw at the PlayStation event. Mm-hmm. I'm not sure when that comes out, but I know it comes out early next year, up until like June. So unless nothing gets pushed back, it's gonna be crazy. And all the sports games should be on sale by then, especially February. That's like after the Super Bowl, so usually shit is thirty dollars. Yeah, so Madden twenty twenty one should be thirty dollars. 
22. Oh, 22, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to say I'm playing 21 still. 21. 21. Um, speaking of football, though, uh, we didn't cover it last week, but um, there's been some it's more development, it, so I'm glad we didn't. He had a full-blown meltdown yeah. after we yeah, did yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. I'm glad we didn't cover it last week. Um, You know, we just, we just knew the timing wasn't right, you know. Um, but Aaron Rodgers or Karen Rodgers is what I saw. Some folks. You know what I hate? You know what I hate? And I, I, I gotta let me get this out the way. I hate how every time someone does something, whether it be like seriously detrimental, mildly detrimental, slightly detrimental, incredibly, it doesn't matter, right? Every time white folks come up with just like slurs almost to call these people and like just like that's it. Like they just like they're like snarky and they're like, yeah, that's how you that's how you kind of just. I'm gonna call you Karen Rogers, and it's like okay, but like address the bullshit he's saying. Yeah, yeah no, I'm not gonna do that. But like Karen Rogers, yeah, or or what like was the they other used one? to call Trump the uh, Orange Cheeto Man. Yeah, yeah, and Cheeto Man extent. and all that other shit. Yeah, and like, mm, yeah. well, what are you gonna do now, Cheeto Man? Um, or I'm no, you know, do whatever the fuck I want. The best example was uh, I always say this. Uh, remember when um Sharon Osbourne's daughter Kelly is that her name was on <laughs> the, uh, view, the View and she said that shit that she said on there. Uh, where they were talking about uh, Donald Trump was saying he wasn't going to let niggas in and he was trying to get all the Mexicans out of there. And her dumbass really said, well, Donald Trump, if you get rid of all the Mexicans, who's going to be washing your toilets, Donald Trump? And she said it, right? She said it. And then there, there was like, you can hear it in the back. All you heard, oh, like, oh, oh, no. And then you can immediately see her like turn to her colleagues like, I mean, I mean, because... <laughs> She immediately fit, but it's like that's what y'all sound like, bro. Y'all just be getting y'all little snarky shit off, thinking like it's doing something. It's like, oh yeah, cool. We'll give, you a little, we'll give you a cute little round of applause, maybe some likes and retweets, but like, like, like address it. And not that like it matters in this case, but they do it with like political shit that really matters, and it always irks me. But like people do it all the time. What was the other one? They call them throw something. Uh, I can't remember what it was. Oh, I throw can't baby. remember. No, 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 like throw the word throw. No, I know. I was just. I wanted to say throw baby. Oh fuck, I can't remember. But anywho, so Aaron Rodgers, uh previously, uh how did this all start? Where did this all start from? Before the interview, before was it a positive test? Yeah, he got he tested positive for COVID. Okay, he tested positive and he missed the game. And then we found out he was unvaccinated because he had to miss a certain amount of time. Okay, that's where it started. And uh, what it all came up was he said that he was Right, right, somebody right. straight up asked him, "Are you vaccinated?" He said, "Yeah, I'm immunized." And of course, in his dumbass mind, he took some herbs and some tea, and he, yeah, I'm, I'm good. I'm, yeah, I'm yeah, good. my immune system so, is good. That was the first thing, and I hated how people tried to cap for that. And I was like, "All right, bro, listen. If your girl asked you if you had sex with that girl, you said, uh, nah, I didn't get no top from her. <laughs> <laughs> my nigga, is that an acceptable answer? Yes or no? That's all I'm asking." No, nah, I ain't get no top from her, babe. I promise I ain't get no top. I pro look. I on everything. I got no top from her. Nigga, name everything but what you said. I ain't put it in her butt. We ain't do. Uh, I ain't jump off the top rope. I ain't do none of that. Nothing. I ain't not that. Well, I can't say nothing. But I ain't do none of that. If you're not gonna call it a lie, then it's deliberately misleading. It's a lie by omission. No matter how you yeah. count it, it's a lie. You knew what I was asking, right? Like, exactly. so don't do that. But anywho, so he did all of that. Um, called him, blah, blah, blah. And he comes out on the interview, goes on Pat McAfee's show, right? Um, and I know him and Pat McAfee are friends, but I think Pat McAfee knew, like, not before he got there, but definitely once he started going, like, he knew, like, oh, man, he's about to he's about to step in it, boy. And it was hilarious because I remember, like, seeing a bunch of niggas live tweeted as it was happening. And it was, like, the first one yeah. of the first things was he was saying, like, he was – he was in the crosshairs of the woke yeah, mouth. He just hit oh, every like, talking point of he checked off right like, wing deck like if there was a pamphlet for for right wing bullshit. That nigga hit every box. He said, "Hold on, crosshairs of the wolf. first off crosshairs gun reference. Okay, great start, great st- amazing start. Right, I'm talking. That's like first play of the game, play action, deep shot. That's a great start right there." Crosshairs, boom, gun gun reference off top. Crosshairs of the woke mob. He threw woke and then mob to oh, man. Come on, that's that's a sixteen yard gain on first down. That's a sixteen yard gain way on first you down. You could have got more yards is if you said witch hunt. Ooh, yeah. If you would have said that's witch hunt, that's like, that's like that's like thirty yards. 
that's no, no, that, that, that's sixteen yards. But the personal foul, add that yardage to the end of the <laughs> to the play, first down. <laughs> like, nigga. So he said that, um, and then he kept going. He said, "Hope I, I wish I could remember all the." He said, the uh, he said. The "I'm saving the best ones for last." You know which ones those are. Uh, I think he didn't say witch hunt, but he said something about a hunt. Did he? I thought he. Or did he say he the mob was out to get him, and they're going to try to cancel him? Oh, well, he did say cancel culture. He he said those words. Um, said woke mob he said that. He, he said in the crosshairs, right? Gun reference again. He he, he checked all of the boxes. For shit it's like he was here. reading off a list. It was like Joe Rogan gave him talking points, and he was like, "Yo, listen, like worst case scenario, if you feel like you're in a pinch, just say this phrase, and you'll be all right." He wasn't even in a pinch. He said this shit off top, off t- off tizzy, in hey, a comfortable going, environment Pat? with his fan, uh, with his friend Pat. Listen, Pat, I'm in the crosshairs of the woke mob right now, Pat. It's a social justice <laughs> witch hunt. <laughs> people, people that said that, well, oh boy. But then, yeah, so he says, he's he, he he talked to Joe Rogan, got some advice from Joe Rogan, took some ivermectin and some uh, what, some monoclonal antibodies, I think, which is the Regeneron shit, maybe. Yeah. Um, Which I don't know why he didn't name drop it there, but, you know, maybe he didn't want to give him free He probably promo. didn't know the know. name. If you just took the shit, <laughs> that's, Joe that's Rogan. Yeah, niggas will know monoclonal antibody, but not regenerate. <laughs> um, the, but yeah, so and of course, and I think, and there, there was the full interview. I've seen a lot of people complaining about, oh, you guys are just cherry picking with da 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 da. And I'm like, dog, listen, if you say some wild shit in the interview, you can't say enough good shit to offset the fact that you said this wild shit. Like, so what I'm saying is, for example, if I'm in an interview. And this ain't taken out of context or nothing. It's just a phrase where I'm saying, well, no, I just don't respect women. And then I said a whole bunch of good shit about the real world and how, like, black people this, black people that. Bro, no. You still <laughs> said I don't respect women. And you meant it. It wasn't taken out of context. The full context was that. So it's like, I don't care if somewhere in the interview he said, yeah, I talked to doctors and I talked to this. And I don't give a shit. It wouldn't matter because you talked to Joe Rogan and took his advice. You took his advice. Forget what advice you got from a doctor. You took joe rogan's advice over the advice of doctors and experts. Known dickhead. you tried to present all your shit to the nfl and you said they they looked at you like you were what he say? it was exact word but he said they looked at him like he was crazy a crackpot a crackpot that was it and a whole bunch of people had me dying it was just like huh seems I weird wonder why that would be <laughs> <laughs> that was the point this one he was like i did uh or no or do was just like huh look at that <laughs> he was like huh crackpot what no, but yeah. So, and that's the funniest part. I can imagine they get there and they're like, they're going to show them this shit. And Aaron Rodgers is like, oh, I put a little something together for y'all too. And they're looking like, and inside they're like, oh. I don't. Nah, they might not even. They probably just misinterpreted what he meant by that. They would just think, oh, like a gift or something. Oh, okay, cool. How nice. <laughs> and they can finish. He's like, oh no, no, hold on, don't break that computer down. I, uh, I just emailed you something. Okay. Yeah, it's only like ten minutes. I just. Oh, what were you? Oh, you got like a video or something? It's like a slideshow, like a Prezi. <laughs> but yeah, no. So he did that. Um... The funniest shit to me about this whole situation is that Aaron Rodgers has now been completely exposed as a dumbass. Yeah. The the funniest shit is the fact that he said that he's an atheist. So that goes mm-hmm. the religious exemption that everybody seems to claim. About why they don't get vaccinated. Oh, so that was another an, thing. He's an atheist, and he also doesn't believe in the science. So, bro is just out there not believing in nothing. Look at just out there free empty, balling, just <laughs> chilling, head empty, don't know nothing. And that's just the funniest shit of all time to me. Yeah, yeah, no, nah, I mean, God, you don't believe in the science. What do you believe in? Football, <laughs> <laughs> nigga, you that's, kidding that's me? It. Football, nigga. And the funniest thing is this nigga went to UC Berkeley, which I think is hilarious. <laughs> or, was it UC Berkeley or was it Berkeley University? Or is that the same thing? I don't fucking know. Who cares? It's in Berkeley. Yeah. That's all I know. It's in California. Y'all know where it's at. Um, No, he went to Cal. I'm tripping. He went to Cal, University of California. And then I think he got like an honorary degree from UC Berkeley or something. I don't know. Don't really care either way. But um, yeah, so the other thing he was saying was he was saying he was allergic to something in the vaccine. Right, um, which no, no, he's lying. Yeah, yeah, I was about to say, go ahead, because I'm about to set up a lot of things. He, he also said that he was scared 
of being infertile. Yeah, he said that this too. One in his life, he's working on building a family, mm -hmm. which is hilarious because there's been no information saying that the vaccine will make you infertile. But there have been cases of people COVID making them infertile, infertile yep, due to yep. COVID, and there's been more of those than has. there have been of that as a yeah. So the chances of infertility are higher with COVID. But yeah, go ahead. No, that was that was it. Okay, was, yeah. Um, what was the first thing you said right before that? The chances of the COVID. You said something about uh. Uh, I'm drawing a blank. What was uh, the first I, I, I am too. But anyway, um, what I was, I think, what I was trying to get at uh, about him with the the exemption thing, right, was him saying he's allergic to one of the ingredients in there, which again is cap. And you said you, yeah, okay, right, that's where we were, right, oh, which yeah. I knew was a lie because again, if you are allergic to ingredients in the vaccine, one, some providers will still green light you to get the vaccine, but two. Um, and some of them were like green lights. You just say, look, get it, get it under observation just in case, you know, anything happens, you sit there for an extra 30, 45 minutes and you know, it is what it is. Um, and so on and so forth. Right. Depending on like your level of allergy and what it is you're allergic to so on and so forth. But the other thing is if you had allergies, you could just get a medical exemption. You would literally be able to get one because yeah. you are allergic to an ingredient in something like, no, right. Like, so that's a possibility. So if you really have an allergy to one of the ingredients, you could go to your doctor. Hell, you could pretend you had an allergy. Go to your doctor, get a doctor's note saying you have the allergy, present it to the league, and not take the vaccine. Instead, and be good you about it. Showed them fifty thousand point slides about dumb <laughs> shit. And like to me, that's the whole part about this. Where I'm like, look, let's pretend like even if you just like you don't have to get the vaccine, but one, you pretended you were vaccinated. Two, you acted and behaved as if you were vaccinated. That's yeah, really the you real didn't issue wear here. A mask. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's... press conferences in closed rooms. So you just and that and all of that shit is really the issue. I don't give a I listen, I don't give a shit about your medical status and I don't care. But the league cares because they have rules, regulations, and statutes. For, for, forget the law. This isn't about the law. This is about what the league has said to do, right? And so that was the whole point where, like, niggas were pretending, like, oh, I don't even understand that. Because you got a guy who's one up his spouting bullshit. But on top of you spouting bullshit, you're dead wrong, even on the simplest argument, which is just you disobeyed the league standards. We're not even getting to the argument that you're, like, causing damage to the the to society with your misinformation. Fuck that part. We're not even there yet. Nigga, you flouted the rules of the league you play in. It's just that simple. They find you for it, which, you know, they should have busted your ass harder than that, but... And your team knew. Let's be real here. Your team knew. They were just yeah, going to yeah, rock out. Knew. Yeah, exactly. Like, it was one of the ones where he was My like, yo, is... you, you can submit that documentation. He's like, yeah, um, I, I, yeah, I'll send it over in a little bit. Another thing that pisses me off is the fact that there are niggas on the Packers that didn't get vaccinated, and they said they didn't. So Aaron Rodgers just straight up fucking lied for no reason. Yeah, and there he was another point. There was, yeah, yeah, yeah. In the interview. Yeah, like, well, he was he, talking about those guys when he was mentioning people who were unvaccinated. I'm like, oh, those guys, huh? Those guys. You, you're just not part of them, huh? Those guys? Yeah, yeah. You're, you're not one of them. Oh, you're not okay. you're part of the you, uninitiated. You there. Um, so, yeah, so that was that whole – I'm not going to hold you. Like, the whole Aaron Rodgers thing was funny to me. I actually didn't feel a way. I had already, like – I have respected Aaron Rodgers' game, but I never liked him because I'm a Vikings fan. Um, and now I'm just like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's on your head top. It's on your head top. Like, it's it's over for you. Mm -hmm. um, As it should be. But the funniest part is out of this whole situation, the person I came out disliking the most <laughs> was Jay Williams. <laughs> it wasn't Aaron Rodgers. Right? It wasn't Aaron Rodgers. Shockingly enough, it wasn't even Henry Ruggs. Right. And I only bring him up because there was a comparison made. Shit, yeah. Right. That Jay Williams made. Right. So Henry Ruggs, for you know, those who we also didn't cover this last week, uh, because it's pretty straightforward, but Henry Ruggs was driving drunk, uh, about 156 miles per hour, with a That's gun in crazy. a car, with his girl That's in the car, crazy. That's and crazy. crashed into another woman who I think it was her and another person it in the was car. Her, her, dog. her and her dog, right? Yeah. Her and the dog passed? Yep both passed right i knew they was gonna be in his ass when i saw the dog die too i was like oh that's, that's yeah. it. i mean it was a white woman and you were driving drunk and you're in the nfl this is already enough dog you're finished 
That's, but, yeah, it's done. But the dog too? Oh yeah, my nigga. You might not make it to jail, nigga. They'll yeah. beat your ass for you. You you ain't gonna see the trial, nigga. They're gonna string that nigga up like it's Alabama. They're gonna lynch them. <laughs> Pitchforks and all. What's that Uncle Ruckus shit? Hang that nigga. No. <laughs> I got the rope right. <laughs> um, but yeah, so 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 that was the Henry Suck Rug situation. Um and so you know what's before we get into it, mm-hmm. what's weird about the Jay Williams situation is he checked Stephen A. Smith for going harder against Kyrie than he did than against Aaron Rodgers. Than right. against Aaron. So like, how do you like? It's like he's playing devil's advocate. I don't understand what's his motive here. Like, so you're saying that Stephen okay. A. is going harder for against black people than white people because. The narrative that Stephen A. is a coon has been prevalent for decades. So you're no, bringing that knows up. knows what he's doing. But yeah. then you're doing this shit. So, like, what What are you doing? Right. And so and so that's exactly my point, right? So first and foremost, he had the comments about Stephen A. Smith basically saying, like, basically hinting at. And that, that was really the part that I disliked the most. I'm like, listen, Stephen A. has done some coonish shit. I'm not going to dispute that. Yeah, but my whole right thing right. is, if you're going to do that, then say that. I'm not telling you call him a coon on his show. That's not how this works. Of course not. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Like we, Terrell Owens tried that and uh, it didn't go well over well. But say that. Don't 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 be don't be scared. Don't try to hint at it. Don't try to and and that's why Stephen A. responded the way he did, where he was just like, "Nah, nigga, someone like, that. like he, you could tell he responded like on some like, "I see what you're getting at. You're not yeah, slick. You're, you're not slick. Yeah, and if you're gonna, gonna do, do it, it like that, I'm gonna just dismiss you. I'm gonna I'm gonna cook, cook you. I'm gonna crack your shit and just keep it yeah. moving." I ain't even gonna address your facts. You just dumb, stupid. <laughs> <laughs> so <legit>. it's over. <laughs> dummy, dummy. Um. So he does this, right? And so he says the whole thing about the Kyrie part, which to me, I was like, listen, I'm the main guy. I, the same could be said about me. I had more smoke for Kyrie than literally. And think about it. When Jay Will called out Stephen A, this hypocrisy from Aaron Rodgers, right? But even so, even forget that part, right? Obviously, it was it was too premature for Jay Will to say that because it's like, bro, it's one day after it happened versus the Kyrie thing, which has been plus, going on for like what, a month in a half. What blew my mind was Stephen A did talk shit about Aaron Rodgers. No, it was light. It was light. But the problem is that was day one. Yeah. The Kyrie saga had been going on for like two months. Yeah, Kyrie probably longer than that. Just keep digging his grave. Think about it. At first, he wasn't saying nothing, and then the team was just wondering. We were just wondering if he would get it, and then the the, the laws changed. Like, bro, we were following laws in New York. Are you kidding me? This was a whole saga that it was wasn't going even on. a league thing. It was laws. It was the, the New York. Yeah, yeah, right. So. Of course, there was more smoke for Kyrie because, dog, this shit simmered for a month and a half, two months, and people got sick of hearing about you at that point. Plus, let's be real here. There's already a reputation out there about Kyrie. Some people already don't like him. A lot of them happen to be Boston fans, and you know what that demographic is. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So, so so we understand here. We're all on the same page with that. But then the Aaron Rodgers shit, this nigga came on his show, like, what, the day of, the day after it happened, I think? It was like, oh, why you ain't cook him? Bro. I think it was literally the day of. I think it was the day of. Yeah. McAfee shit happened on Friday. I think it so literally it was even, the day of. Yeah. I think so because I want to say that because I think Stephen A's comments came way later in the episode after Jay Will's or something. So I think Stephen A said something. He just didn't even say it yet. And I think Jay Will was like, all right, well, I know I'm going first. So I'm going to cook you for not saying nothing, quote unquote, bro, even though I know you're about to say started. something and the story's going to keep going. Right. So he does this. And even at the time, I was just like, come on, bro. Like me, I'm going to make a perfect example. First of all, I cooked Kyrie because it was two months. And second off, I got tired of hearing about it. When you get tired of it, it's just, think about it. At first, I'm going to engage in facts. I'm going to engage in good faith arguments. Once I see y'all niggas is just doing this, yeah, fight for what's right. Okay, define what's right. Tell, tell me what's right. Tell me what values he's fighting for here. Uh, you know, it's just a bunch of, once I no hear values. all of that, now I'm he's getting fighting to the for point. the voiceless. Right, voice for the voiceless. All right, well, what do you believe? I'm, I don't have to discuss my beliefs. Um, okay, right, I mean, you, you literally shit, don't. Shit, but when you say, okay, no, never mind, never mind. You remember I, what you said. You remember Kyrie what you said. I'm not going to mind. Is a, a complex individual 
because he was the head of the like the players union, right? And he was trying to get people to not play basketball last year. For they had to call Obama in, nigga. So you knew he was working. Yeah, so, so I <laughs> give him points for that. So you know he was working. I give <laughs> Kyrie points OB's. for standing up for social rights last year. But Kyrie has been on this holier than thou hotep shit for years. Like mm-hmm. even before he was in the spotlight, no, 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 I know. he was one of the first niggas him. to say that he was fucking flat earther and he was converting other niggas in the NBA to become flat earthers. Yeah. Like he's been a dumbass from day one. And even before all this shit happened and now, he was refusing to get vaccinated and going on to Native American reservations, putting those people at danger. Knowing yeah, and they have higher the- rates. Yeah, exactly. yeah, 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 exactly. So, so that's what I'm he's saying. He's been a shithead this whole time. And it's like, it's and, and to me, look, Kyrie's one of those guys where it's like, listen, your heart might be in the right place, buddy, but this shit ain't but working. You're too dumb to really this shit ain't working. Shit. Like, what you, what you think you're doing and what you think you're getting you're- across, I, I think Kyrie outthinks himself, he's right? Like, head. I think he's he, he, to me, he even reminds me of like a coach that's talented, but he overthinks it so hard to where he just looks stupid. Like, you're like, all right, this is the first level, but what if they know I'm going to the first level? So I go to the second level. But what if they see the second level? And you know what I mean? And you just keep going until eventually you land on a galaxy brain play. Like, all right, I'm going to try the most wildest, silliest, craziest, dumbest shit ever. Because they're expecting the end around, but are they expecting the double end around? They are. So I use the double end around, play action, flea flicker, revert. And it's like, dog, stop. Stop. Just just running up the middle, dog. And you're overthinking it. You're overthinking it. So, but to me, Jay Will, right? So he does the whole thing with Kyrie. And obviously, look, even then, I didn't think that was, that's not what made Stephen A. a coon. If you're going to call Stephen A. a coon, Look up some shit that makes him coonish. It ain't he's, the fact that he said some crazy shit. Yeah, yeah, it ain't the fact that he stepped on Kyrie for just playing dummy for a month in the media. It's that's not it, right? But then, but then recently, boy, does this mo- <clears throat> boy this nigga gets up here, makes a video, and I ain't even gonna hold you. I saw the tags and I was like, wait, what? And then I like I watched just enough of this video to get it. I didn't listen to the whole video, so listen, I just keep that in mind. I heard like the first 20 seconds where he's basically saying like, it's crazy how we covered the Henry Ruggs shit, right? What happened with Henry Ruggs? It was a very tragic thing. We covered it once and it kind of went away. And now suddenly we're right back on the Aaron Rodgers thing. There's so much time for the Aaron Rodgers thing, but a life was lost, right? Someone's life was taken. What really is more important here? You, Someone's do uh, do this and that. Hold on, let me, the whole, let, me, let me get the whole shit off. Let me get the whole shit off. I got to get on my, I'm on the soapbox. I got to keep going. Okay. But. So he got his whole shit, like, you know, it, it, like, do we care more about football and, and, and people wearing masks? Do we care about the woman losing her life to a drunk driving incident? I mean, where are our priorities? Did it did, did it did. Finn, and then do a little bow and scene. Finn. <laughs> and scene, right? So go ahead, cook that shit real quick, because I'll cook it right after. I was just going to say, um, maybe the reason the niggas stopped talking about the Henry Rugg shit is because the nigga is jailed. He he's he's in j- the, the the story has ended. The situation has been resolved. The protagonist has yeah, at overcome least the, the great threat. The nigga's in jail. Guess it's who's over. Going to jail tonight. Yeah, guess who's already in jail? So the reason can nobody pay his bail tonight is because. The situation has been resolved. What's there to talk about? Now, maybe once we get some more information about when the court case is Ain't up, even maybe. When That's going exactly trial, what's going to happen. Exactly. When there's more information that comes out, when the trial date is set, mm-hmm. when we'll hear niggas go to court, we're going to hear everything about it. But mm-hmm. for now, the nigga killed somebody and is currently in jail. So what the fuck is there else to talk about? Right. Right. So what I was going to say is pretty much an extension of that. But then, to me... This is why I came out of this disliking Jay Will so much. Not only is this a bad comparison, it's a disingenuous one. Because I know wholeheartedly Jay Will is not dumb enough to believe what he's saying. And I know this because Jay Will works in media. He, he's been in media for years, right? So my thing is, Jay Will, you understand what drives clicks, what drives debate, what drives this, what drives that, right? So with that being said, what do you think is a more uh, substantial topic? for a conversation is it a a situation where someone does something wrong and 95 to 99 percent of people virtually agree that it was wrong or is it b a situation where someone did something that's like not illegal but like eh, it's a little slimy 
Let's talk about it. We're on the fence Let's about it. Let's talk about it. Right? Like, it, it, that's just obvious, right? Perfect example. And this is like the example I kept thinking about. I was like, all right, listen, if I kill somebody, if I, or, excuse me, if I unalive someone, right? Let me unalive you somebody. Said kill and dead like 30,000 times. Yeah, no, I know. But I just wanted to, I just wanted to make the, just wanted to, I wanted the boss to know. I, I respect y'all just a little bit, but, um, but yeah, like if I, if I murk somebody, right? For the most part, with very few exceptions, people would just be like, "But well, that ain't right, dog. You got to serve your time. You got to take what comes with that." Do 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 blah blah blah. Right? Versus, if I were to go out and do something, say for example, you say something to a woman, and it's a little slimy. I don't, you know, a, you know, that could be sexual harassment. Depend, right? There's going to be a discussion had because it's not yeah. blatant. Whereas if I say the most foul, nastiest most disgustingly sexually harassment type shit that I could ever say to a woman in the office, guess what? Nigga, it's cut and dry. You're getting cooked. It's done. You know, if, I, if I tell a random woman, hey, I'd like to do, and I tell her the nastiest shit I'd like to do, guess what? I'm out of here. And everyone agrees I'm out of here. But if I say, oh, wow, your lips look so nice today, so soft, right? Like, I, I slide that in, now suddenly people are going to fight for me. You get what I'm saying? There's a discussion here is what I'm getting at. And that's what drives the media and drives the clicks. And Jay Will knows this. He knows this. If I know it, that nigga know it. And I know he knows this because Jay Will has also shown me that he's an opportunist. Because it wasn't too long ago that Jay Will got on TV and lied about a story. He sat up here and said he went to a Christmas party, right? And people seem to forget about this. I don't I don't know how, but this was, I want to say maybe a year, two years ago. I yeah, don't, it definitely wasn't long. that long ago. Yeah, but he got up here on the story, uh, got up on the show TV and was talking about he went to a hol- holiday party. Kevin Durant was there talking to Kevin Durant. He mentioned something to Kevin Durant. He mentioned Giannis's name, right? Kevin Durant said, nah, 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 nah. Don't you ever compare me to him. Don't you ever put my name in the same sentence as him? Do, 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 this and that, right? Kevin Durant came out and just said, yo, who is these niggas making up these stories and shit like where I be saying and doing shit like I don't be doing? Like, y'all niggas got to chill with that dumb shit. Pretty much saying, nigga, I never told you that. We may have had a conversation, but nigga, it wasn't nothing that and you know what so this has a nigga who has shown me he's, he's an opportunist yeah he's an opportunist so with that in mind and then with this take in mind and then with the fact that listen the nigga is just he's his takes have never been very good it, they've never been very good they've never been like i gotta hear jay will's take on this they haven't most of the time it's either basic shit that we know already he's got a couple good basketball breakdowns but anything outside of basketball his football takes have been shit They've always yeah. been shit. His basketball takes are the only takes worth listening to. And even some of those are just kind of like, it's kind of like your coach talking to you. Oh, yeah, you guys got to, you know, keep the ball moving. And, you know, it's like the stuff where it's like, yeah, no, you're right. But, like, it's a little deeper than that. But, yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. We do have to pass the ball. So, no, J, 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 no. I, and I knew as soon as he did that Kyrie shit to Stephen A, I knew right then. I was like, he's posturing. This nigga is posturing. And he's going to do something. And then when Jay Will tweets something, after that Henry Ruggs tweet, mind you, he mentioned something about cancel culture. And as soon as I saw that tweet, as soon as I saw that tweet, I said, how? How did y'all let him do it? Y'all saw it? We all Ah, saw it. Y'all got baited and teed up like that. We all saw it. We knew. How could you not see it? And it's not even like one of those where I'm like, oh, I saw it when no one else did. No, 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 no. I don't want to take credit for this. Y'all had to see this. Y'all had, what What did y'all tell yourselves to, to convince yourselves it wasn't true? Like, because you can, it's so transparent. Remember when we talked about this on the other pod, right? Where we talked about some people are subtle enough to where you'll never know what team they're on until like they declare what team they're on, right? Like mm-hmm. they're the type of guy where, all right, we're going to talk about this right wing topic and I'm not going to say the right wing talking points, but I'm going to leave out that that one left wing talking point. I'm going to leave that one out. The one that, that identifies me as a left wing nigga, I'm going to leave that one out. So people think I'm somewhere in the middle, right? Jay Will ain't that guy. Jay Will ain't that guy. He's too obvious. And I saw that. That's what I was getting at. I'm like, yo, this is, come on, my nigga. He's doing the thing. He's doing the thing. Everyone's doing the thing, guys. He's doing the thing. And lo and behold, he's doing the thing. The grift that keeps on grifting. I think we're going to see more of this. I hate that. I hate it. I hate that we're going to see more of this because I don't hate it because it's a contrary opinion or it's like different from what I believe. I hate it because it's contrarian for the sake of being contrarian. 
It's a manufactured yeah. point of view. You don't believe it. There's not even many facts to back up your point of view. You're just there. The you just arrived at this point. It's just ruled by manufactured outrage. And people jump on and say, hey, this is stupid. And then another side comes on and says, no, you're stupid. And then it just goes from there. Yeah, it's just manu- all it's, the internet it's, is. It's, it's, it's manufactured. And it's just when it plays out this obviously it irks the shit out of me yeah at least has some subtlety to it this is yeah it just it just irks the shit out of me like and again like i saw it the same thing with you know like we we talked about uh marcellus and and emmanuel acho like and i see it and it's like it's just i I just to me my thing is look if you believe it you believe it It is what it is i don't i don't like for example is um you know will kane you know will kane is he's a white guy who covers sports um you probably don't know about him but will kane is a guy like there's a, I have a short list of like white sports people who if I saw on the streets, I might go to jail for, mm-hmm. right? Uh, Will Kane's on there. Bob McAdoo is on there. Uh, old Bob coach McAdoo. for the Giants. Old coach for the Giants. Yeah, he's on there. Um, oh, God, there's a couple other niggas on there. Uh, you know, uh, Ted Cruz is probably somewhere on there. I don't know. You know, the owner of the Cowboys. Uh, oh, Jerry. Oh, nah, he's a little too rich. I can't. I can't. I can't touch him. He's he gonna get me weird. thrown in a gulag. Nah, I ain't, I'm gonna leave my hands off of him. Um, Just don't but it, it's it's a couple other folks that I can't remember. But it's like Will Kane is one of those guys where like he often takes this like ultra white wing approach. Except I believe he actually believes it. So as much as I dislike that nigga, as much as I can't stand him, and I think he's a loser. I think he's a dork. But guess what? He believes that shit, and he's standing on it. And I can I tell can he believes it because he's consistently he's that dork. He's not the guy yeah. who he's the dork, and then one day he makes a take so bold, you're like, wait, wait, you get it, don't you? Like, and that's the problem with a guy like Jay Will. He'll give you the little profound take, and you're like, wait, wait, hold on, no, no, you understand this then? And he's like, oh yeah, of course I understand it. Oh, okay, okay. So if you understand, you know what I mean? Like, and it's like you're in the middle of that question. You look up at him. He's got like the face on. You're like, oh. Oh, God. <laughs> he's got the look. He's like, yeah, he's got the look. And you're like, oh, it's the oh, you God. sinister motherfucker. <laughs> how did oh, how did I not see that? Oh, I I really thought. You, okay, my bad. That's me. That's on me. That's on me. It's just no, man. It's just I I hate it. Can't stand it. And uh, it's not fun. <laughs> it's not fun. You guys are ruining things. Okay. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Are they? Are they ruining it for you, Snowflake? <laughs> he said, oh, or sports your little safe space, Snowflake? <laughs> you lib cuck. Cow, bro. I have always hated like that, like shit lib and like all those different shit terms. I've, I've heard so many of these terms that I'm just like, I hate it. Stop saying these words. <laughs> all these terms that these niggas be saying apply to themselves. The but no, I mean, be getting offended. The niggas would be trying to cancel people. No, it's, I know it's it's, it's, it's it's like you said. It's manufactured outrage and hypocrisy. And to me, I think hypocrisy is inherent with manufactured outrage. Because if yeah. you manufacture the outrage, that means you were like, you get what I'm saying. You created your own opposition, basically. It's like, like what you were saying. Uh, I don't remember how long ago it was. I don't remember which part it was, but you were saying after. Um, Hold on, I just lost my train of thought because I just saw slimy eels. Um, <laughs> nah, that'll do it. That will, that will do it. No, nah, um, go ahead because I just lost my train of thought. Um, so slimy nah, so I was actually just gonna talk about the University of Austin. Um, I don't know if you want to keep going, but uh, uh, so you don't remember. It was about the. It was about. It was a part of manufactured outrage. Something and, uh, I said previously. I'm going to remember it in like... Rub your temples, that's going to help. Does that work? I can't rub my temples, it's going to fuck on my hair. Look at him doing what I'll, I told him to do. I'll tap my temples. See, I didn't do the Tony, I tapped my temples. Oh. <laughs> All right, let's move on because it's not coming back. All right. It has something to do with the... Manufactured outrage and uh, something else. Yeah, no, it's gone. Lost in the cosmos. All right. So, University of Austin. Um, I know you're thinking to yourself, well, isn't there already a University of Austin? What is, there's a University of Texas, Austin. UT Austin. There is no University of Austin. And that is because one has just 
been created, right? And so it was created by a woman named Barry Weiss. I don't know if you know who this is, but she's a former uh, New York yeah. Times columnist. She she's a good columnist, or no? She is not a good. Yeah, that one, that one. Um, so she's the one. Like she's done a lot of cover for um, you know, like Zionism. She's done a lot of cover for white supremacy. Like, you know, look, it's the New York Times, and she was like a senior columnist there. I think she was an editor too. So I love how we get platforms to these type of people. Ah, uh, we say we like who do you, who do you mean we? Because it's like it's the same rich I niggas mean, giving society. platforms to the same people. Yeah, well, yeah, society needs these people for their own goals, right? Um. So anywho, who cares, right? But uh, she is most known for screaming about how people are trying to cancel everyone and hating cancel culture, but actually trying to get Palestinian professors removed from a university, which is hilarious because that's literally cancel culture. But anywho. Why? Uh, she decided. What do you mean? Why? Because she's a Zionist. It's oh well, yeah. yeah, no. She, I mean, she's she's that's Jewish, all, but she's yeah, enough. she's also a, a Zionist. So yeah. So anyway, so she announced that she's launching a new quote university, and I put university in quotes, and you'll find out soon why. But it will be dedicated to the fearless pursuit of truth. Okay, sounds a little vague already, right? But it said it was going to be a home for those who have been shunned from illiberal college campuses uh she's starting up an x-man matter uh she's <laughs> she's starting up an umbrella academy <laughs> oh my oh, goodness man. so i already know who's gonna be there that girl that shit on herself with the gun she gonna be there <laughs> she definitely gonna be there on she's like the nigga, what they already invited her she's gonna do yeah. a speaker she's she gonna be a professor i'm crying right so hold on we keep going right if we keep going right this is the hilarious. The inaugural president said four out of five American PhD students are willing to discriminate against right leaning scholars. Okay. okay. Which, I mean, I don't, where did you even pull that statistic from? But that's not the point. Yeah. Right? It's really not the point. The real point is um, oh, wow, that's weird. But the real point is that this college doesn't offer de- degrees. Is this and, just like a lib hating and, summer and, camp? And it's not accredited e- either. This is just a place where you go to <laughs> echo chamber and funnel your own views with other right wing dickheads. This is this is a book club for rich niggas. Yeah, <laughs> that's basically what it is. Um, uh, right. and yeah, so um, so mind you, uh, I'm I'm looking at wow, this is quite a hefty document, 195 pages. Good job, guys. It's full of like dog shit. Pencil. Yeah, it's full of dog shit. But I mean, this this took some effort. It took some work. Um, what is this? These graphs are so fucking ugly. Get this off my screen. Uh, Ooh. wow. These. That's not a very good way to display information. All right. Well, anyway. So uh, da 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 da. So the founder. Oh, this this is the best part, right? The school is fiscally sponsored. By a nonprofit, right, called Cicero Research. Sounds innocent enough. Who owns it? Now, according to public filings, Cicero is affiliated with Joe Lonsdale, right, who is the co founder of Palantir. Do you know what, what Palantir that? does? No. Do you know what Palantir does? You don't know what no, they do? I don't. They, they data mine. Oh. Mm, see where I'm going here? So every nigga that signs up for that school is getting data mined. Yeah. Hopefully. Buddy, not just that, but think about it. You data mine the people who sign up for the school. You data mine the people who sign up for the email list. It's just one other way to get more money. It's just another scam, right? It's just another racket, another part of the scam. You just add one layer to it to get money at a different level. So it's 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 not uh I gotta I gotta I gotta tell you, this is hilarious. Um, because I mean look, you even had the oh my god. What, what the, oh, this is why the guy's famous. So the guy is famous for chastising Pete uh, Buttigieg for taking a lengthy paternity leave. Um, That's how do you get famous for criticizing a nigga going? Oh, no, he didn't leave? get famous for that, but he was he was one of the people doing it. Uh, but he said any man in an important position takes six months of leave for a newborn is a loser. That's mad funny. In the loser. old days, in the old days, men had babies and worked harder to provide for the future. That's the correct masculine response, right? 
Okay, and so just I just hold on, hold on, wait for go any further, right? We're gonna get right back to that. Um, but the school hopes to launch master's degree programs in the fall of 2022 and undergrad two years later. Dog, this shit has never happened. This is Trump University. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. I'm sure they're gonna fucking I'm sure this is not a way for niggas to just get money and enrich themselves. I'm sure this is really about teaching the next generation of Republicans and right wing. Yeah, no, it's not. But <laughs> and, you know, it, it could be. It could be. But I don't. I don't know why. Like I, you know, I, we brought it up. But have you seen this like rather odd resistance to men taking leave, like like paternal leave? Have you Have you seen this? Like, do you? Yeah. Like uh-huh. so. I cannot. Okay, no, 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 no. Let me. They about to cancel you. Whatever you want to say. No, I wasn't. I I don't agree with these niggas. But um, I'm trying to look for where I want to start. Like, if you don't get paid for it, I can see how like six months of leaves. Like, I mean, damn, nigga, you got it like that. Like, if you do, then I mean, you do. But I mean, a lot of niggas ain't in position to take paternal leave anyway. Yeah. But if you mandate it. And it mandated that it's paid, then that's a whole different story. But I, it's just this weird thing where, like, you know, a masculine man will work harder to provide and da da da. And I'm like, dog, think about this. I get paid the same amount, and I'm not working at all, and I'm at home with my wife and kids. How is that not a better situation? Like, I get what you're saying about like, like, like a real nigga would just like work even harder. Like, 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 sir, my baby just got here. Give me sixty hours instead of fifty. I need to work harder. I need more money. I don't think people Fuck them understand kids. how most positions work. Fuck them kids. If you work salary, you're not going to be able to request more hours. If you work hourly, yeah, I know, a job I know. like Walmart, they're not going to give you more hours. So you're not, and you're not getting paid leave. More. Exactly. <laughs> you're not going to be able to work more to provide for your child. Or if you get it, they're like, look, bro, best we can do is two weeks and we're not paying you. Yeah, you just out. We'll guarantee your job when you get back. But you're not getting paid for those two weeks. You won't you get work. fired. And if you take you more than paid. like a month, nigga, we gonna have to really talk about this. Yeah. But like to me, I just don't understand what's this aversion to men being in the home. Is that like pussy? Is that what gay niggas do? Like, I, what what am I missing? Is it gay, fellas? Is it gay to stay in the crib? Because yes. I mean, technically, it, technically, because it's women outside. Think about this. Mm. They don't want niggas to take. It's women them. outside, and you you avoid them by being staying in the crib. I don't know. <laughs> Hey, you, 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 you one of them. They don't, niggas don't want to take care of their own kids. When I say niggas, I'm not talking about black people. I'm talking about niggas as a men. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I mean. Uh, that's how it's been since, like, the. It's just so it's nasty. Like, I'm just like, 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 like bro, I can understand you just being like, eh, well, you know. I, I, like, I can understand you just being indifferent about it, right? Like, I just don't understand having a strong sense of, like, no, men should not be having pretend what do you need to stay you didn't give birth what are you staying at the crib for i'm like okay okay to support let me, my let wife? me spell this out for you i am black which means if i'm dating presumably if i'm dating a black woman she's gonna have a much higher chance of fucking dying in the hospital and if that doesn't happen i would like to be there to That's make sure news. after they it happens she's good care. oh yeah oh you don't care about that well i'll tell you what i'll tell you what i'll tell you what come in this back room with me real quick i'll give you something to care about you gonna pick some time for me, boy? <laughs> if you weren't gonna die before, you definitely can. <laughs> he die. said, "Well, look, I tell you what, I was just gonna hurt you before, but but now <laughs> I'm gonna unalive you." <laughs> but yeah, I, I just I don't understand the uh, the 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 opposition. Like I seen it strong. Like I seen a clip of Joe Rogan, like being like Nick was like almost like he was furious, like mad, like he was frothing at the mouth. And I remember, he, and you know what I thought you was know, so You know what's hilarious? Funny. That nigga shut down his podcast when he had kids, didn't he? I mean, who who gives a shit? He's a piece of shit. But, no, but that's what I'm saying. He was frothingly angry about niggas going on maternity leave. Yeah, and like, meanwhile, he went on maternity whenever. leave, bitch-ass nigga. Like, yeah. but anywho. Um, yeah, what, what, what kills me is that there was a point where in this little diatribe about men not working, blah, 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 where he's basically talking about like, oh, yeah, well, and he's talking about like, well, if I was an employer, then do, 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 do. And then I was sitting there thinking to myself, motherfucker, you are an employer. Talking about if I was an employer, bitch, you are one. You are one. You have employees. You have a nigga who probably works on the boards. You got niggas who edit your shit, niggas who, what? Bro, Spotify gave him what, like 100 mil, 200? Bro, you have at least like 10 niggas working for you. Don't, don't play with me. You are an employer. Don't do that. 
But again, to me, Joe Rogan strikes me as the guy who he knows, he knows, but he's going to get up there and lie. Mm-hmm. He's going to get up there. I'm Listen, I am going to get up there and lie. It's just that simple. We can talk in the, you know, in the, you know, when the cameras is off and look, you can talk all them facts, my nigga. I'm going to get up there and lie. All right. It's just how it goes. Fuck Joe Rogan. That's a fact. All right. Well, we ain't got nothing else on the agenda. Than his anyway. Anything? No. That's a fin act. That's a Fendi fact. Yeah, he ain't mentioned he Elden Ring once. Lame ass nigga. Nigga don't even know what Elden Ring is. I want, uh, yeah. Elden, like, is it an older ring? A ring for like elderly people or something? Like, oh, ass oh. nigga. Joe Rogan, pull up, yo. I'll smoke you, yo. Fuck all that UFC shit. You not in the ring. I'll smoke you. You commentating? Nah, he do be fighting, but like, I just won't fight you. What? Duh. Nah, he's like five foot four. I'll still beat him. Mm, I don't know, man. Wait, how tall is Joe Rogan? I don't care how tall he is. When a nigga trains with kicks and shit, I don't want to fight that nigga. Period. If he little enough, his legs not gonna reach my face. I'm not fighting no nigga training. Like, seriously I mean, training. I'm not doing it. How tall is Joe Rogan? I don't, I don't, it, I won't do it. Like, I, like that. He to me, that's one of those things where I, I don't, I don't listen. That's one thing I don't play with. Like, like perfect examples. Like, you ever see people who are like, "Oh man, I'll knock yo, give me so and so so, and I'll knock Logan Paul ass out." And I'm like, listen, I get it, I get it. He's a YouTuber, ha ha. You think you, but that nigga trains in. But dog, he's he's right. been training for like a year and some change. He's six foot one, 190 pounds. Like, let's not pretend this is just a dude off the street who's drunk. This is a nigga who's training. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Like, this ain't a guy in a club you fighting like. <laughs> <laughs> this is a guy who's been in serious fights, who's punched niggas before. He's been punched before. He's punched niggas before. He's been... I he's a, he's he's a punch known him. puncher. <laughs> no, nah, I said... definitely. I got a strong jaw. I got a strong chin. I've been punched in the chin several times. I've never been knocked unconscious in my entire life. You know what's? I don't know. I don't know if I've got a strong chin, and I pray I never have to find out. No, I know I, I can know, hit hard. I've been punched in my chin. And you know, I, I know I can hit out. hard. I've ne- listen. I've never had a fight where I got hit. That's all I can. I've say. gotten two concussions in my life, but neither time I didn't go unconscious. I just got hit in the head, and then I went to the doctors. Like, yeah, your shit got rattled. I wasn't unconscious. Yeah, but I, you're going I felt. Conscious? Oh, you yeah, did. niggas right, get, right. get concussions in past niggas. Man, I had yeah. two concussions. Ain't never. So like, well, I, I got. All right, well, all right, so if you passed out for like eight seconds, does that count? For all the other symptoms, like I felt like I had to throw up. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah nigga, you passed out. You, that you count? Your eyes, eight seconds. Everything shut down. Yeah, that count. Nah, come on. I never passed out, but I felt every other symptom of concussions. I felt sick, like I was gonna throw up. My equilibrium was fucked up. Mm-hmm. I couldn't walk. I was wobbly. Yeah, yeah, the the light light was was busting your me. ass. Yeah. yeah, the lights was busting my ass. Uh, I heard the ringing noise. Everything mm-hmm. was spinning. Yeah, the flashbang. Yeah, I got caught with that shit. Yeah, I fell to the ground and shit was still. The sky was spinning. It went from the ground spinning to the sky spinning. I was like, oh, this. I'm gonna throw up. This not getting no better. <laughs> like eyes closed, and he could just how I'm still spinning. <laughs> still feel like I'm moving. You still, what's even you? moving? How I'm what? What if is you it? close your eyes, it gets even worse. Because you can at least, if your eyes are open, you can focus on one thing and try to stop it from spinning. Yeah, you get your eyes closed. If it's you just close like, your you eyes, just, it's just constant spinning. You're just, just spinning you know, in the dark, nigga. Yes, yeah, it's, it's worse. No, nah, I, I, you know, I, I had a concussion uh, once. And I remember that we did, like, the test. And I remember they was having me do the test. And I kept thinking to myself, dog, my, look, I don't care what the test say. My shit rocking. I'm not playing. Like it, was, like you know, like some of them. Like it's funny because I always think about the players who, are like, you damn near gotta kill them niggas to take them off the field. Meanwhile, I was one of them niggas who I was like, look, no, bro, coach, take if my injury serious enough, and I know I, I'm, I'm not fucking doing that. I'm not playing with no fucking high ankle sprain that's like very bad. And like, look, bro, you know, you cut a little too hard on this shit. Your shit going. No, sit me out, nigga. Y'all got, y'all got other options. <laughs> My concussions were so bad, I didn't go through no concussion protocol. They stopped the game and pulled me <laughs> off the field. Oh, they knew what it was. It was one. I was in outfield, and I was running back for a fly ball, and I ran back and clung just <laughs> the back of my head on the metal pole. And you could hear the metal pole ring because I hit my head oh, hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I fell, and then that was, that was it. The game was stopped. I was out the game. And then, <laughs> like I said, I didn't pass out, though, so we went to the hospital. 
because I was ex- I was explaining my symptoms. They're like, oh yeah, you fucked. Go to the hospital. Went to the hospital. <laughs> had concussion. The second time I got a concussion, I got hit in the head by a fastball. Um, mm. This was in high school too, so this wasn't no little baby arms. This was. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I had a helmet on. That was that was three star recruits. I had a helmet on, and I still got a concussion through the helmet. That's how fast and hard the ball was. Oh, yeah, yeah. That don't even shock me. Oh, uh, That time, I just took my helmet. I was like, yeah, coach, I can feel it. This is <laughs> – I walked over to the bench, took my helmet off, and threw up, and then I went to the hospital after that. He <laughs> said took his helmet. I can just picture a nigga getting dinged, and then instead of running the bases, this nigga just calmly walked to the bullpen. Like, yo, you good? Yeah, 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 totally fine. Give me, give me a second. Give me a second. Slide out the way. Just move out the way real quick. Just no, no, no. You just move out the way real quick. Then went straight to throwing up. Yeah, no, that was. It, it's crazy. I played football and I never got a single injury. But baseball, I got two concussions, a broken nose, multiple broken fingers. I rolled my ankle. I didn't break it, but it was like one of those really bad sprains. Mm-hmm. Like you ever step on a base? And then, like, roll off and your ankle, like, pop out a little bit, but it don't go through the bone all the way. No, I mean, dude, I had a sprain exactly like that. I, yeah. I had a sprain where they thought my fucking, uh, my talus was fractured. They swore my shit was fractured. They was like, yeah. look, I ain't gonna hold you. It, I think your shit broke. All like, the yeah. worst injuries in my life came from playing baseball somehow. That's hilarious. I think my only injuries came from football. Now that I think about it, I don't think I ever got injured in track. I was like, I never I never pulled nothing. I never No. No, I never pulled nothing, no nothing in track. I think the only injuries I ever got was I fucked up my ankle in football. I got a concussion playing football. I got another concussion in the bedroom. That was pretty fucking funny. Um and what was the other one? I fucked my hamstring up once stretching. That was hilarious. Like not like funny ha ha hilarious, but like it was just like, damn, dog, you just yeah, really ain't meant to play this shit. That's, <laughs> that's, I was why, like, Nigga, that point, that's why I stopped playing baseball. I was like, I'm going to die doing this shit. I'm gonna, I'm gonna <laughs> they said, and for what? And for what? I'm not going to the pros. The scholarship to the University of Vermont? Like, come on. <laughs> nah, man, this is, I'm done with this. <laughs> I'm fin- Ooh, a $2,000 scholarship. Nah, I'm good, bro. Yo, that was another thing I used to be pissed about in high school, man. Them niggas made it seem like, yo, it was so easy to get scholarship money. I'm like, bro, y'all was bullshitting. Yeah. Niggas made it seem like you could just, bro, look, bro, you just go out there and you just got all these websites that's going to help you break it down and do the do this and that. And these is quick and these ones are short. And this is, and I'm like, look, knowing what I know now, I probably could have freaked the shit out of them. Um, but yeah, I just, but back then, the I think I did a couple. And then I was like, look, bro, I, I think I won maybe like $500. I was like, yeah, I'm good. This is a lot. <laughs> yeah, and like, nobody I, helps you either. You just got to go out there and figure yeah, it out. I, I'm like, mean? bro, I applied to like 15. I won one. I got 500. I'm good. Forget it. Like, this I, I, this conversion rate stinks, nigga. Like, yeah. <laughs> like I'm, one, I'm one for 14, dog. Nah, nigga I'm good. You got to mine Bitcoins for a grant. <laughs> <laughs> and, bro, the 500 was a, a, a blessing, nigga, because niggas was getting 25s, hundreds. I'm like, bro, you know how mad I'd be writing an essay for 25? Twenty five dollars. Yeah, seven page essay. Yeah, talking about they gonna pick a thousand winners, nigga. What's the point in that? This is disrespectful. Yeah, I'm like, bro, pick a hundred and give us two fifty. What are you doing? They laughing at y'all. Twenty five dollars. I'm like, y'all pimping my stories out. And what y'all doing with this? Y'all gonna give it to NBC or something? I'm like, yeah, yeah, use this nigga trauma. Yeah, that's a good story. I'm screaming. Can you imagine? That's probably what it is. It's, it's, I think it's, I the, would... it's, the, it's the admission essay to to NBC pipeline. <laughs> My story is so specific. I definitely think I would recognize it if a nigga tried to steal it. Nah, you know you gotta understand they they never stick a hundred percent to the source material. You know what I'm saying? So especially since you black, it's like you know they gonna change like all the defining characteristics <laughs> of it. They gonna strip it down. You just gonna think, all oh, it's just you know. Shit. Like you going to that black school? That never happened in their in their story. No way. You went to public school and were bullied by white kids. That's exactly how they're gonna play it. <laughs> Come on, oh, you went to school with Negroes and learned about you? I, I, not on my watch. We're not about to have self empowered Negroes you on my watch. New, you went to public school, struggled with your image, and it was a white girl that helped you find yourself. <laughs> it's like a white girl helped me up. 
believe it or not, a white girl got you closer to your own culture. Mm -hmm. No. I don't how? Story. How does she? Well, you better learn to like it. It's going to be on NBC three nights a week. It's not even a movie. It's a show. It's you got to continuously see them bastardize your life. You're just like, yo, is that? That's supposed to be Keisha? This bitch named Sheila. And she was. And you're not, not even fat. Oh, man. Booty and you're not, not even fat. That's so the most important shit. thing. Fucking pay booty, not even fat. <laughs> yeah, right? You ain't, That's not even what she look. Mm. Not just going to step on everything, yo. It's not the sacred to you. Can't be. Couldn't even get the proportions of a rump right. All right. Well. Anything else? Uh, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Part 6 Stone Ocean drops on Netflix December 1st. First 12 episodes. Be there. First 12? What? You gotta, like, wait for the next? They're gonna do it like Baki. They're gonna drop... Uh, Baki drops, like, 12 episodes at a time. Oh, okay, to keep up with the pace of the... You just... Uh, well, no, 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 no. I don't know why they do that because JoJo's Bizarre Adventure is on part eight right now. Part six is done already. It's been done for years. So I, oh. they're not trying to keep up with the pace of the manga. I'm not sure why they're doing it. Well, maybe they are because you figure if, you, if all you got left is seven and eight, right? And seven and eight's not done, right? No, it's done. Oh, okay. So if all you have right now is seven and eight, I guess they might figure, well, Maybe they're gonna bunch seven and eight together shortly, like because they waited really long with six, right? So maybe they're gonna do seven and then six months later do eight. You know what I mean? So maybe that's why they're trying to wait till they get to nine so they can have something to wait on or something. I don't know. That would be nice. That is extremely wishful thinking. I would. I know. I know. Money to get Niggas that, don't do that. Yeah. It's not gonna happen. I would just like no, 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 no. Make them wait six and a half years. Don't don't worry about it. Same thing with Baki. Um, Baki is light years ahead of the anime right now um i think the time that it's taken to make baki is literally just the and getting everything together just the animation and the drawing and everything and the voice acting because they don't need to rate on the manga mm. like baki just got to the biscuit and baki fight that's and, at least a nigga named Biscuit on her. You haven't gotten the biscuit yet? The big black dude? No, I haven't watched nothing uh back so far. Like I've just been watching Succession. Like that's literally all I've been watching. I'm like I just started that shit and I'm like caught up to season three. Go back to Baki then when you get done. I mean, and, I'm uh, already done with Succession right now. So then go back to Baki. I also gotta keep up with uh Insecure, because uh I haven't seen any of the new season. I think I missed a couple episodes at the end of last season. Because I don't even yeah. fucking remember where I left off at. You know, I actually never got into Insecure. I've never seen a single episode. Really? Yeah. Oh, it's yeah. a good show. I mean, I, I I like it just because it's... At times, it can be, like, a little annoying. But, like, it's very realistic, uh, at the very least. Like, the writing is, is someone who's in touch with fucking reality. Like, it's not, like, I can watch nonsense. it just because... I have HBO Max, and since this is the last season, I can binge oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. all of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the time to do it. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Um, shit, what else have I been watching lately? Just Succession. Um, I started a little bit of Demon Slayer. I, I don't know. It's just, for me, like I said, I, I just, I don't know. When it comes to anime, my attention span just don't be long enough. I just feel like I don't be caring. Like, I don't know why. I, I can't explain. I can't put it into words. I really just don't. Like, I should have go hard and be like, oh, yeah, cool, cool. And then I just won't care. It'll just probably, come a point where I just don't care. You probably just like more realistic slice of life shit. Like, you like Baki. You watch that long enough because it's realistic. It's not niggas blowing up planets or fighting demons. It's just niggas squaring up and beating shit out of each other. <laughs> you probably just like more realistic shit. You don't really like shown in anime. Which is weird, because that's what I used to love. You know what I mean? Like, growing well, I mean, up, it was, I, I used to love like, even that, that type of shit. Think about it, though. Think about what you was watching. You was watching Dragon Ball Z, niggas fighting. Oh, no, no, no. I'm not talking about those. I'm not talking about those. 
growing up, like, when I say growing about, up, like, Trigun and Big O, and... I'm not even talking about them shits. I'm not talking about none of them shits that like I had Funimation back then, so I was watching the shit on Funimation. Like, I was watching like Neo Ranga. I was watching Ra- Razafon. I was watching what? fucking. Was there a Funimation app back then? No, it was like a channel. It was part of the package. Uh, Anime I, Network was back then. No, no, no. I definitely had it was, no it was like Anime that, Network man. first, and then it was Funimation. Funimation came around like Funimation channel was there like when I around when I stopped watching anime. But no, nah, it was like no shit like that. I was watching Toonami. That's where I was getting my anime growing yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't worry, I watched Toonami, so I watched everything on Toonami. So like I watched those. But for me, like there was times where like I would just go, oh, I'm gonna watch Full Metal Jack and I'm gonna watch uh, fucking uh, Full Metal Jacket. Uh, no, full. It's not Full Metal Jacket. What's the name full of that series? Full Metal Jacket is... No, uh, I know. That's the movie. Yeah, I get it. I get it. It's a series. Full um, Metal Alchemist. Full Metal right. Panic. I'm sorry. That's the oh, name of the series. The fuck is Full Metal Panic? I never heard that shit. Um, that, it was like, what? Gravion? Fucking Neo Ranga? Fucking Razafan? Oh, yeah. You was watching fucking... shit I never heard of on this I know. Uh, animation app. I know. I was watching Najika. That one was nothing but fan service. You remember? You, you gotta go nope. watch Najika. It's nothing but panties. The whole episode. Strange. Very peculiar behavior, but I was watching. Um, what was that show with Eclair? It was a woman named Eclair uh, from an anime. And da, da, da. Sounds familiar. Was it literally just called Eclair? Kitty Grave. That was the name of it. I used to rock with Kitty Grave. Uh, Azumanga Dayo. Uh, Azumanga Dayo, I used to love, actually. But yeah, so you might be right, though, actually, because a lot of the ones that I liked were more so, uh, uh, like you said, slice of life, I guess, is, is the term for it. More real. I mean, you watch Yu Yu show. That was yeah. No, I mean Yu Yu Hakusho is, is stellar though. Like that's the difference. No, no, that's what, I'm not saying you watch that like oh you watch it. You know what I'm saying like that's niggas beating shit out of each other. No, but I know. But that's why it works. Like Dragon Ball. That's why it worked bro. for me. Like even with Dragon Ball worked because I mean the story overall is good. It's just dragged out. It's just drug out. Yeah. Thank God for uh, Dragon Ball Z Kai. Um. But yeah. So I don't know. So yeah. Maybe you're right. Maybe I gotta get to you know. Maybe I gotta. Try to fruits basket my way into this animation. <laughs> I got a Tenchi Muyo on my way back in. You gotta. You already started off with the best. Now you gotta check the rest. Cause Yu Hakusho is like the best. That's. I'm gonna watch Lupin. <laughs> Lupin was. Good. No, what's? I'm gonna watch Speed Racer. There we go. Ew! No, God, no. Uh, Yo, you remember that clip of Speed Racer yeah. racing a dude? And the guy was like, "I gotta win for my family." <laughs> it smoked them anyway. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking diabolical. That shit was so funny. The nigga told his whole life story about why he had to win that race. That nigga said, "Man, I want to hear that shit." I think Speed he won anyway. I don't know if he. I want to say he won and it gave him something, but like I think he just straight up won. It was just like, nah, that's your problem, nigga. <laughs> this is sick, man. You gotta watch uh, Big O. Yeah, Big O. Big O is another one I watched. I I never knew the story of Big O, but I watched it. Like I've seen. Yeah, so many I don't know. Of Big o. I just remember Robot Maid and Giant Robot. And I remember having a crush on the Robot Maid for some reason. Yeah, no, nah, and... I used to rock with her. Uh, big robot. Oh yeah, Claymore. Yeah, the Claymores. The uh, this was like the era of anime where I was like 2007 is like the last era of anime that I watched. Probably not. Nah, Kojius, Gintama, Kenichi. Yeah, 2006 is definitely it. Gintama been out for so long, yo. That shit's been out like almost as long as Berserk and Naruto. What beef? This was the the new one though. Oh, they remade Gintama. Yeah, it was one in like a uh, 06 that they remade. Oh, that I was... thought it was just like a continuation. Of... Oh, yeah, no, no, I didn't know nothing about it. But yeah, like this is like the last era of, of, of anime I watched because this is like, yeah, Full Metal Panic, fucking Kaleido Star. Oh my goodness, I can't believe I've seen some of these names for the first time in fucking forever. You need to uh... go ahead and finish Baki, and then I would say something you probably like. Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, both on Netflix, and then uh, for good. Guys are just good old fashioned. 
because I know Joe. Oh, Steel Angel Karumi. That was another one I used to fucking love. Um, yeah, I might take some time on JoJo, uh, cause it, it looks cool. <laughs> you want, you want peak fiction, meaning like the best fiction that you'll ever get in your entire life. That's JoJo. Oh no, it's it's Samurai Girl. That's what I Samurai want. Samurai Girl. <laughs> Samurai Girl. That's a very descriptive name. I think I know what I'm gonna get from that show. <laughs> yeah. I might watch Najika again. I ain't gonna hold you. It was just a woman walking around in a skimpy outfit smoking other women who all just happen to have skimpy outfits. <laughs> it's just like, yo, why your secret army guard got like the skimpiest shit I've ever seen? Like, Look, let's see her panties or not. I, okay. No, okay. No, I understand. No, 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 no. Listen. Hey, listen. Hey, listen. I'm just, I'm just a 12 year old here. So yeah, no, for sure. I'm just, I, you know, it just seemed a little weird to me. But I'm, I'm still watching. I'm a hundred percent still watching. I'm gonna keep watching. <laughs> I'm, I'm just, I just, you know, just, you know, you, you, you don't see why that would seem a little weird. Oh, yeah, Sammy what Watkins is active for week twelve. Oh yeah, speaking of NFL, uh, I guess we might as well get into the Odell trade. Odell got traded to the Rams. <laughs> These niggas are yeah. sick. Rams are sick. All right, I said traded. He didn't get traded. He got signed by the Rams, but. Uh, the Rams are sick, yo. The Rams are very sick, niggas. They if they do all this and don't win a chip, they're going to be a laughing stock, boy. What um, I want to know is, I really don't know how this is going to turn out because Odell's whole issue with the Browns is he wanted to have the superstar wide receiver treatment, but the Browns run their organization like a system, and so Baker wasn't giving Odell the ball. So Odell going to a team with a a team full of superstars, mainly Cooper Cup, he's still not going to really get the ball that much. So, like, how yeah. is he going to go? Well, that's like, why the point. That's why I believe that this wasn't so much so about playing time and this and that as it was about you being a part of an organization. Organization, excuse me, one where you feel like has a better chance of winning. I think that was the key, biggest key. But then I think another key was just somebody that was going to treat you differently. Somebody yeah, else gonna court you because the 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 rounds. I definitely feel like they were shitting, shitting on that nigga the whole time. Yeah, the rounds pretty much signed that nigga, and that was like the most love they gave that nigga. And then after that, it was just like, hey, well, look, if you injured and you can't play, it's cool. And they just acted like, like you know what I mean. And it's not like you gotta treat him like a, he's a, a a special guy. Like you gotta give him his own shit. But like, dog, at a certain point, uh, and what I always told people is that uh, Kevin Stefanski is their coach. Previously, he was the offensive coordinator for the Vikings. Who else was previously on the Vikings when Kevin Stefanski was the coordinator? I'm glad you asked. It was Stefan Diggs. Now, now, do we remember why Stefan Diggs left the Vikings? What, what, do we remember what he said? He said he felt like he wasn't getting targeted enough. And mm-hmm. we looked at his numbers and we said, well, you're having a good season still. A thousand yards, maybe ten touchdowns, nine touchdowns. That's I want a good more. Season, buddy. And he said, I wanted more. He goes to Buffalo, leads the league in receptions, yards, and maybe touchdowns. I don't remember. Right? Now, guess what? Kevin Stefanski leaves, go to Browns. He institutes his little offense there. Now, what do the Browns do? They run the shit out the ball. That's interesting. What did the Vikings do last year? They ran the shit out the ball, right? Hmm. Now, every once in a while, they throw a little dink and dunk to their two-star receivers. Adam Thalene had a good season, but it was mostly touchdowns. He didn't have, like, a ton of yardage. He didn't have a, 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 a huge amount of catches. It was just touchdowns, right? So they would run the ball all downfield, and then, all right, I'll throw you a little 13-yard touchdown. So you ain't going to have no yards, nigga, but you're going to have the tutties, right? So the issue here, though, is that at least Kirk Cousins was getting the ball to Stephon Diggs. He was missing him every once in a while, but at least he was getting the ball to him. In Odell's case, it's even worse because it's not like he's still getting 60 catches for 800 yards and six or seven touchdowns, which would the be low by Odell's four standards. four targets a game and Baker's yeah, overthrowing two of them. Right, right, exactly. Some games I'm only getting five targets. And then you've overthrown or thrown into the dirt two or three of them. Two catchable balls. One, I got a one hand in traffic. The other one, I mean, I just couldn't pull that one in. <laughs> you know what I'm and saying? I'm blaming Odell. People were saying Odell is only catching 50% of his passes. I would say he's only getting 50% of catchable passes. The funny thing is, the there, was a metric. there was a metric for this. It was uh, Baker Mayfield. Hold on, let me pull this. I got, I got a screenshot with, with this shit just this because of the I, I do, and I do, is, right? So hold on, give me a second. Is this a do. Baker Mayfield hate podcast? 
Uh, not necessarily. Hey, it's just the facts. I mean, I don't have anything against Baker Mayfield. It's just the facts are he's a below average quarterback, and people are slurping him, acting like he is, is more it's the future of the Browns. Yeah, right. And it's like, listen, I get that the Browns haven't had a good quarterback ever, so they think this is good, but it's not. It's average, right? The numbers show that it's average, right? So 2019, like, right? Oh, before you get into stats, I feel like yeah, they've been but... using uh, Odell as a scapegoat. They use they, yeah, any they did for the Giants too. They use any black quarterback with any type of person, not quarterback, sorry, any back. Well, any black player, quarterback, yeah, really. wide receiver. Mm-hmm. They use any black player with any Especially type receivers, of personality as a, a. They call them a diva, or they say no, they're the a problem, distraction, a yeah, distraction. Yeah, all this so because Juju got a personality doing TikTok dances, he's the problem in the Steelers and Pittsburgh. Yeah, it's not the noodle arm, Od- huh? Yeah, because Odell. Wants to get targeted more. He's a diva. He's a cancer in the locker room. Yeah, well, your team's still winning and did it. And I'm like, yeah, no, I get that. But again, I, I'm a player. I, I to want play. to help my team win. Yeah, exactly. I'm not just gonna like, what, 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 what fucking world do you live in where a guy who's a star can't be upset about not helping his team win? Like, that's the part where it's like, bro, I can tell y'all have never been good players. Y'all might have been exactly. on teams before. But y'all might have been on teams. You've never been a standout player because you've never wanted that love and that that you know when you make that play when you do what you and you make one of them catches and shh, them niggas come over there and they nigga, i am not a wide receiver three i am a fucking star give me the ball and baker's just like no hey well baker's like yeah and then he misses right yeah. because hold yeah, on exactly. let, me, let me pull these stats this is in 2019 right so let's just let's just this was like what the first year old that was there but in 2019 his accuracy took a no dive. Remember, he had a really good rookie season where he played like seven or eight games. He looked stellar. In 2019, he looked like dog shit. Mm-hmm. So here's what we're looking at, right? 33 people qualified for these statistics. So keep this in mind. 33 is the bottom. So if you're 33rd, you're last. 3.9 interception percentage. That was 32nd. Jesus. 80% catchable throw percentage. That was 30th. Completion percentage over expectation. 29th on target percentage 25th turnover worthy play percentage 20th at right? least he's getting better at every category right no i mean but it's it, but every <laughs> the best 20th right think about it, 20th there's 33 qualifiers at best you are below average yeah literally me saying you were below average was generous because 30 I, second it is is as, almost as I, bad I, as it gets Right. That's so okay. Fact. So let's look at 2021. Right. That was that was 2019. Right. Maybe I'm cherry. No, no. I'm gonna skip 2020. I'm gonna tell oh. you about this year. Right. Let's let's skip the years and maybe people think I'm cherry picking. Right. So let's go 2021. Excuse me. Beckham primarily runs uh flies, digs, corners, and seam routes, which are intermediate and deep routes. Right. He's running 60 of them in 2021, which leads Cleveland. He's the number one guy in deep routes in Cleveland. Right. Yeah. Um. Baker Mayfield's performance on such throws has been poor this season, regardless of who's being targeted, right? On 40 attempts at deep to intermediate throws, he's averaged negative 0.1 EPA per play with an accuracy rate of just 40%. Now, the EPA, I don't fucking know, but that means that's like expected yardage, right? They expect a certain amount. If Odell is the main nigga that's running deep routes, then could you make the leap and say this isn't even the coach's fault that Odell isn't getting the ball if Baker is not Can't hit him. Um you could. You could. Um the coach is like, yeah, you're a star. Go get that deep route and yeah, go get that yeah. touchdown. But Baker can't get it to him. Yeah, you could. But the problem is I think there's there's three problems here. And the problem is not that anyone like because I think everyone's gotten singled out, but I think the hierarchy of whose fault is what is is the issue here. Because yeah. people see people seem to put Odell's fault at the top of the list. Yeah, I've noticed and, that. And in my, my opinion, it's the, it, it might be the lowest fault here, right? It's still fault because allegedly Odell was basically free ball in his routes. Like he run a fly route and then he's running the fly. And then as the play's progressing, he's just going to change his route a little bit. And something's off at the time. That's what's been said. Again, I can't speak to that. That's, that's football shit. I mean, maybe niggas on the field would know. I wouldn't know. Yeah, but I okay, I can see. Like. I can imagine Odell free ball in his routes, and that might fuck you up because you're expecting him to be right here at a certain time, and he's a second late. 
You know what I mean? Or he's a second fast. I get it. I understand. Okay. So that's all no that. So a nigga being too Not fast and burning his defender. Is no, bad. but you know what I'm saying? Like, if yeah, y'all got no, no, saying. If y'all, if y'all, you've thrown this practice 75 times in practice, and then when the day of the game come, nigga, you faster so all of a sudden? Yeah, I'm going to fuck that throw up. Why weren't you running this fast all 75 times, nigga? I was but, tired. Shit, well. <laughs> but anyway, so on them deep throws, right? Um, Hold on, hold on. I ain't done yet. On 40 attempts at deep and intermediate throws, right? Deep and intermediate, not even mm-hmm. intermediate. 40% accuracy rate. So let's go. Less than half. The one I just told you is negative 0.1 EPA. Of 33 quarterbacks, 33 qualifiers, remember this, who have attempted at least 10 of deep t- or intermediate pass, Baker Mayfield ranks 31st in EPA and dead last in accuracy rate. Dead last, meaning so, you are the least accurate deep to intermediate quarterback in the league this year. So what we're getting at is it's not Odell's fault. Yeah. So that that right there is Baker. I don't care who's the quarterback or, or the, who's the receivers. That's you. That's you because they just said, nigga, you're deep throw. You're the least accurate, nigga. You the can't. Are there. Yeah, and that's it. Don't matter if it's Odell or not. You probably got a better chance throwing the other niggas just because yeah, timing seemed to be better. But even to them niggas, you stink. You know what I'm saying? Like, so with that being said, like, that's the part where that's Baker. That's 100% Baker right there. And then you got the coach, right? The coach has got to take some responsibility because, like you said, all right, well, shit, if you got Odell, dog, you not no screens, no nothing. Like, no, like, put it this way. The Packers find a way to get Devontae Adams 10 touches damn near every game. They don't fucking matter. They don't matter. Mm-hmm. Nothing matters. He, he will get them 9, 8, 9, 10 catches. Get, whether you're getting blown out, whether you're blowing somebody out, he going to get his touches. My whole point is, I understand the Browns are not a team where, like, bro, look, we got Nick Chubb, we got Kareem Hunt, shit, we got Dearness Johnson at this point, nigga. We got a backfield of the stars. We got a backfield filled with niggas that's just going to run this ball for at least six yards of carry. Cool. That's great. But at some point or another, dog, you have to find ways to get your explosive guys in the play. Like, you it's like, yeah. you have to. You have to, right? Like, it's like, I don't care how good your run offense is. If you got Stefan Diggs out there, you got to find him six or seven times. Right? I'm not yeah, saying force they, it. I'm not saying you, you know what I mean? Reason, right, exactly my gonna, point. Digress past that. Exactly my point. And think about it. That could be part of the reason them niggas are struggling. Like, it just seems so counterintuitive where it's like, dog, you have really good players. Use them. They're like, yeah, well, I know, but we've got a really good old line. We've got incredible running backs. We could just hand the ball off. I get it. I, you can, and it's working. The problem is when it comes playoff time, you do them same runs, and instead of getting these seven yards, you're getting three. And then on third and four, you got to throw the ball, but because your accuracy stinks, you're never going to get it. Now what? Now what? You 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 know what I'm saying? This is a great regular season team, but when it come playoff time, nigga, you can't make none of the throws I need you to make. Yeah. It's not going to work. We saw like that. They have better receivers than running back. I'm not saying that the running backs are bad. I just think – they just got the receivers. Throw the ball. Josh well, they have good receivers, for sure, for sure. But I, I, I can't. But they can throw fucking nine touchdowns a game. Yeah, I mean, I, look, they got the receivers for sure. But um, I, I, I still think their backfield's better. But it wouldn't even matter, right? Because my thing is, even with Alvin Kamara, like, niggas will find ways to get other niggas' touches. Because yeah. there's certain people where it's just like, nah, throw a screen here and there. You never know. This will pop I off. I will that. never understand the Alvin Kamara shit because Alvin Kamara has proven time and time again that he is that guy. Last year on Christmas Day, he scored six touchdowns, and I won money on that, by the way. I just want to put that out there. I won money on that. <laughs> so we know he can do it. Let the nigga get the ball. What are y'all doing? I, I think I think part of it might be usage, right? Like, I think part of it is they're seeing what happened to Derrick Henry, and they think about running backs, and when you use running backs too much and how they're, you know, the treads on the tires and how well, it's y'all team out. fault. Y'all ruin everybody else. Y'all make yeah. every other team worse. Right, bad examples. Well, I think that's what the Saints are doing this year, right? And I don't think it's working because, again, you're still winning games, but like you're eking out games where, like, bro, you could easily have another touchdown if you just throw Alvin Kamara the ball. Yeah, let that like, like, like to me, like, there's certain people like Alvin Kamara, the Dalvin Cooks, the Ezekiel Elliott's, like, these are people who, like, if you don't have three receptions a game, like, why? Why are you not targeting him out of the backfield at least once? Get, Get him four yards here, get him five yards here. Shit, maybe he breaks one. Like, there's no reason like a game finishes and Alvin Kamara doesn't have a target, let alone a catch. That doesn't make sense. Who are you throwing to? Who are you? Th- Adam Troutman? Who are you throwing to? 
It better not be Adam Troutman. No, nah, Jameis Winston running the ball. He's not doing that. Either. But the thing is, Sean Payton is pussy. You know, he's got games where he's not letting. And I'm like, bro, look, I get it. Jameis is like the wild nigga who was doing 35 picks not too long ago. I get it. But, dog, one, he's a different nigga now. And, two, because you ain't letting yeah, him do it. Like, is. the problem is, I think it's one of those issues for thinking. Like, when you know your coach don't trust you, it's hard for you to trust yourself. Because yeah, it's like, it's nigga. like you got the parent looking over your shoulder. Now you scared to play. Yeah, and he and looking, he and you can like, tell, oh, like, I'm he ain't just looking up. like. You going to take me out? Yeah, exactly. And he know, like, oh, I'm going to make one bad throw and what? That's it? That's the, I'm, I'm fucked up? I, fuck it. I ain't even going to throw it then. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, like, okay, what do I? And so, to me, it's just, it, but it's a lot of bad coaching going on. Like, even with the Panthers. Like, it's, it's like, now Cam signs back to the Panthers after y'all blue picks, blue money, and then had to sign Cam for more money. That, halfway through like, the season. Literally halfway through the season. I'm just like, bro. Ben did this. This is so foolish. Um, And I get it. Like, I, I but to me, I, I just. No, they need to do it, but they also need to do it sooner. Panthers, yeah, no, no. I, I think they should have, they could have done this early. Like, after mm-hmm. the whole New England shit and with the Mac Jones and this and that. And, but I think it was. That would have been, was, oh, shit. Nah, man. maybe not. Because I think. Darn out of here? Yeah, I think Darnold was already. I think it had to come before the Darnold move. Because you can't make the Darnold move, then, like, bench Darnold. Yeah, that don't even make that sense. Would be, that would have been hilarious to see, though. And I'm not going to hold you. Like I'm it. not going to hold you. I'm not willing to put all of the blame on Sam Darnold. I know. I know. I'm not willing to do it because I've seen it. He looked good for a game or two. And then suddenly the plays fucking suck. The ball can't move anywhere. I'm, I don't buy it. I don't buy it. Something's up. Something's it's up. It's probably the same shit with every other fucking team, the coaching. Yeah, coaching, play calling, something. Something's not right here because, bro, how can y'all not get the ball to DJ Moore and Robbie Anderson? It don't make sense. It makes no sense. It don't make sense. Last year they could. The year before that they could. Yeah, Teddy Bridgewater could get the ball to them. Nah, exactly. stop it, dog. And I'm not. That's not even fading Teddy. Teddy's an average quarterback. But my whole point is, dog, if an average quarterback can get the ball to them, and then Sam Darnold on um, some weeks looked way above average. Well, what the fuck's what the problem? Then? What the hell? Like, yeah, y'all played better teams. Sure. Okay. Yeah, you're down Christian McCaffrey. Okay, that's a big fucking hit. But nigga. Them niggas I, were crippled without Chris. Yeah, they were babies. Yeah, I've said like Chris I've McCaffrey. said this. These niggas without Chris McCaffrey are arguably the worst team in the league. It looks like that. It genuinely looks like that, and it's crazy because that shouldn't be the case. The Texans are right there. That should not be the case. Without Derrick Henry, yeah, they're they're bottom tier. No, no, not the Titans. I'm talking about Texans. Oh, Titans. Oh, yeah. yeah. Have you seen the Texans? They signed uh some running back, and bro, their backfield. They've got like five fucking starting running backs, and I'm like, what are y'all Hello? doing? Niggas is just stockpiling running backs. Niggas playing it like it's Madden, real life Madden. And even in Madden, you couldn't get all these. What you gonna do? One rush with each nigga? Um, uh, hold on. Let me see that running back death chart. This shit is hilarious. Let me get to it. Running back, they got Philip Lindsay, right? Okay, starter. They got David Johnson. Remember the, you know, David Johnson. Yeah. Right. They got Royce Freeman, who they just signed. Okay. <laughs> they got Rex Burkhead. Okay. Another uh, guy who could arguably start and who has started. And it, so it's just like, dog, why do you have four? Right, like, mind you, they had a, 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 a what's his name? They had a, a, a what is his name? Right now, um, oh, what is his name? It's pissing me off. Yeah, Ingram. They had Ingram, right? Yeah, Mark yeah, Ingram. Yeah. And then they get yeah. rid of Mark Ingram. Okay. What was the point? Just to. But then what was the point of signing him in the first place? That's what I'm confused yeah. about. Like, you signed him in the offseason because you loved his energy, did da did that, and then you get rid of him. Bitch, I thought you liked his energy. The energy ain't change. So, like, that happened. And then, yeah, it's just weird shit going on. Like, but mind you, they got a rookie coach. They got a team that is filled with scandal. They don't, they don't know what the hell they're doing. They're just trying to figure it out. They got Brandon Cooks, Chris Conley. And Danny Amendola is just not going to get it done. And then a bunch of niggas I've never heard of after that. I don't even know their record. What are they right now? Probably one and something. Oh, man. I just looked. They are one, one and something. Eight. Holy yeah. fuck. Yeah, one shit, eight. boy. Holy shit. And then with Sean Watson not going nowhere, yeah. Yeah. That no, is, the... uh... Who's even the quarterback for them right now? Uh, Tyrod Taylor and Davis Mills. Tyrod Taylor got injured, though, so Davis Mills. Oh, he's looked decent. He's 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 played like shit like one game, but he looked uh, somewhat decent beyond that. 
Rip to them niggas. Yeah, Texas yeah, it's bad. Done. Yeah, it's Good bad. God. This is bad, Skip. This is bad. Um, shit. What else? Any other NFL shit going on? Uh, hopefully, Mike Zimmer gets fired soon. I don't know if he will. I'm gonna make but... sure he gets fired soon. I, I got that for you. Please, bro. Keep making sure. I don't know. Yo, you, you got any mojo or anything? Like my nigga. You see how I be winning in fantasy? I got mojo. I need that, bro. Please do that. Can you do it? You like Maybe. how I'm in? Yo, you I'm can in... do. You can do that. You like how I'm in fifth place with the least amount of points out of everybody? You know, I saw that, and it infuriated me. It made me very angry when I saw that. <laughs> I was like, this nigga got less than 1,000 points. I haven't even got 1,000 yet. Less than 1,000 after nine games, and he... <sighs> Listen, I just know how to pick my team. Yeah, I'm just a good coach. Oh, you just know. You know, I'm, I'm just I'm... a good coach. Craig, 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 let's get, get us out of here, Craig, before, <laughs> I... before I go feral. <laughs> Y'all be easy. Thursday night game, Ravens at the Dolphins. I got the Ravens, but I'm sure they'll make this close because they've been playing like shit. We'll I'm see. Seeing niggas say it was gonna be 26 to 13. 26 to 13. I can I see don't that. Like that. I I, I can too, but I don't like it. They need to blow them out. They won't, but I can see 26 to 13 for sure. I also see like a 28 17 situation where like they're beating the Dolphins by like 18, and the Dolphins make it look close late. Uh, of course. The way this league goes. They were just like, yo, yeah, I got a 10-point spread. They were up 30. I'm good. You go to sleep. You wake up. How y'all win by six? <laughs> that shit be pissing me that's off, That's how it was bro. on fucking Monday. On Monday, when I went to bed, I was in, like, 30th was that the Jets place. Game? It was the, the Jets and, the Jets and uh, Colts. Yeah, yeah, I was when watching I that game. Bed, <laughs> I was up. I was in 30th place, bro. I was up, like, fucking... Three hundred dollars, and I went to sleep, and I woke up with two dollars and sixty six cents. <laughs> Duh, I don't know I what you, changed, bro. I was watching that game, and when I tell you the Jets fought the whole, bro, I, I was amazed <laughs> watching this shit. Like, dog, these niggas get stepped on, and they just going down the field to score, bro. Come on, but with a I, third string quarterback, bro, that's the part that was killing me. They were like, oh, it's Josh Johnson. And I'm like, who? And then I saw his career. I'm like, oh, wow, I remember this guy. But I've never even seen him play. Like, I remember he's him being on, on roster. Yeah, he's been, like, he's been a career backup who's like who has like eight snaps, nigga, like, or some stupid shit. Like, and I seen it, and I was just like, oh, man, well, we'll see what happens. And this nigga was busting a ass, and I, I was seeing it. Like, his first drive, he looked a little shaky. First drive, he looked shaky. The Colts scored. They went up, like, 21. Second drive, he looked decent. Let him down to a field goal. Colts came out and scored right after that. I was like, I don't give a damn. And then this nigga was like, well, all right, well, we already burnt, so I might as well. And, bro, he got to the end where it was mad close, one possession. He threw a pick, and this nigga, like, he was about to cry. I'm like, oh, my God. Did he really think he was going to – what? He thought he was going to win. I was like, bro, he really believed. He was trying, bro. He was trying his hardest. Oh, and that nigga – I, I was sitting there. I, I saw that shit. I wanted, to, I wanted to stand up and take my hat off. And put I wanted to cry with the man. <laughs> <laughs> Put it oh. over my chest and shit. Like, now this, <laughs> now this, now this is a real nigga right here. Y'all, y'all, like, y'all. We, like we were church and you fucking up, and then the old lady say, "That's, That's all right, okay, baby. baby. Yeah. Take your time. Yeah. It's yeah. not all right. It's, do not take your time. <laughs> Hurry up, nigga." He was really trying his damnedest. And he oh, was really he was disappointed hurt. in a game I, where they were down twenty five. That nigga was like, "Yo, I can't believe we ain't make the comeback, bro." We was right he there. He was trying his damnedest. You know, I respect that more than anything, man. Nigga, I saw that and I was like, "Yo, he better that. start." I don't care yeah. what Zach Wilson fuck, did. Fuck Let Zach this Wilson. nigga start. This nigga start, bro. It's between, it's between him and Mike White. That's it. Zach Wilson <laughs> done for, nigga. I might, I might as well trade that nigga. The Jets would be start, stick yeah. if they trade. I would trade him to the Panthers. I'd be like, before the cam shit, I'd be like, yo, what you want for Zach Wilson? <laughs> a nigga that's re- that dedicated to the team, you got to start him. He cared more than the head coach do. Nigga was down 25 and said, nah, we can still run it back. Nigga damn near ran it back and and damn near cried because he didn't run it <laughs> Nah, it's, nah. It's dedication. No way. That's, no way. that's the embodiment of that song The Rock put out. It's called Drive. It's about <laughs> <laughs> Desecration. Desecration. <laughs> he was channeling that energy from that oh, song. Man. That was What's the motherfucker name? Rock. <laughs> that nigga was fighting hard. I couldn't believe that shit. I was just hollering like, "Damn, dog, you really wanted this shit." Salute. That's Salute. You chat. ain't get it, but salute. That's some real shit. I, I hope, even though they lost, they was hyping him up in the fucking locker room. Like, yo, you was killing it, bro. 
He said, yo, 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 you, 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 one of them. Yeah. <laughs> and you know what? He did so good that uh, I believe he was on the winning ticket. The nigga that was in first place, I believe oh, he, he was. had him. He was, yeah. he was, he was. And you know what's funny? That guy was probably in first place by himself. Because who the fuck? Exactly. Who the fuck? Bro, he the was the backup at the start of the game. Think about that. The back. A exactly. sick nigga picked a backup corner. <laughs> yo, I don't. Yo, yo, yo I'm a, I'm, I'm, I want to stop recording. Yo. I you know, <laughs> you know the nigga that made that list has seventeen thousand so, other said, lists. So I, I just, I just want to make this clear. You understand if he doesn't play, you get this zero ticket points. Does this nothing, right? Spot is gone. You know that, right? Oh yeah. Oh, and then he plays and then scores. Nigga, oh. he had three touchdowns, some rushing yards. He was wilding. He was wild. Unbelievable. The way these niggas play this game, they niggas are playing four dimensional chess with gambling. And I just <laughs> I need to get on their level because I'll be I seeing just... that, bro. I'll be seeing the parlays, and I'm just like, why would you do that? And then they won. Stop so rewarding this. Don't reward this. You can't. <laughs> He's not the, rewarding this. I don't yeah. think they have an option. No one said, did reward like, bro, Not only did he pick Broncos over Cowboys, he picked Broncos to cover the spread by minus thirteen. He thought the Broncos were gonna blow out the Cowboys. Don't don't give him that. Don't, <laughs> don't give him that. He didn't think they'd win. He thought they would smoke the Cowboys. Don't give him that. Nigga said, Yo. yeah, nah, yeah, Broncos by sixteen for sure. No. Whenever what? you see a fucking incredibly wild ticket like that, just know that that is a career gambler. Their literal job is gambling, and they put in 1,700 other tickets. This is just the ticket that hit. They didn't think it would hit, yeah. but it did. That makes sense. Every time, I... that's, what, that's how I make myself feel, but I'm like, this nigga put in 30 other tickets. I know this isn't the ticket he thought was gonna hit. It makes it well. It, it could be that, or it could be like when I won on that brown shit, where like I, it was what plus seventy five hundred odds, and I put a dollar on it. You know what I'm yeah. saying? One seventy five dollars. So it's like right. So or, so you get some niggas who their version of a dollar is, is five. You know what I mean? Or is ten? Or in some cases, some niggas are like, look, man, I make plenty of money. I spend like you know a hundred dollars on excuse me on bets every weekend. So you know, fuck it, I'll put twenty five on this. What was that and one? It was one week where a nigga picked the whole team and he picked the entire Bills offense and won $300,000. Yeah. He picked yeah. Josh Allen, Stefan Diggs, Cole Beasley, and Emmanuel nah, that, Sanders. That, that, that's, that's not nuttier than picking the backup quarterback for the Jets. That's not. No, nuttier. no, no. no, no the backup, that's... backup quarterback. The backup, yeah. back, the third. Yeah, right, yeah, exactly. Backup, yeah, backup yeah. Well, yeah. He was backup coming into the game, but yeah, backup to still nuts. the backup. <laughs> Bro, like imagine picking a Bills game and going, all right, MVP, you, MVP, Josh Allen. No, 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 no. MVP Mitch Trubisky. Ah, uh, see, and then Mitch. Do not only does Mitch come in, happen? not only does Mitch then come in, he then proceeds to become MVP. Bro, how do you expect a nigga that's fully healthy in a game, <laughs> the backup that's fully healthy? Gets injured and then the third string comes in and, and now he doesn't come up. in. He throws, he gets three touchdowns. How do you plan for that? He's not only how do you do that. You know, first off, first off, why do you even put him on the team? Fuck, put him on the team. How do you put him as the MVP to score more points than anybody else? How do you do that? It, 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 it boggles the mind. How do you do that? I. You know, I feel like some of these bets aren't even real. These are computer generated odds, and they just want you to feel like shit for not picking the dumbest shit possible. No real person is picking these odds. He said, "Yeah, um, Pat Fryer moved two touchdowns. I did see a couple of tickets niggas had on on that." With Pat <laughs> Don't Fryer say that moved. because Pat Fryer moved did that. He did do that. No, I saw people like when people were talking about, "I right, show you tickets," and I saw one where a guy put like fifty bucks on it, and I was like, "Wow, plus twenty five hundred, good for you, man." Again, but but I'm not mad at that because I can understand looking at that Pittsburgh team and thinking, well, who the fuck else is going to catch it? No, you know what? Big Ben me can't throw no is, further than 25 yards. So, you know, what be pissing me off about this shit is, I'll pick the niggas. I picked the Pat Fryer move, but I didn't put him as an MVP. Yeah. I he I had him on the team. Like I be picking the right people. Enough. I just don't have him in the right position. So I got to literally make 
a hundred different teams with infinite amounts yeah, of combinations, I like a Rubik's Cube. And so I have the right person at the MVP. Like the last game with the Bears versus uh or was it not the Bears, the Browns versus uh the fucking the Steelers. Mm-hmm. I had the right team. I had yeah. Justin Fields on the team. Bears, Steelers, sorry. Bears, yeah, Bears, Bears. So I had Justin Fields, right? Mm-hmm. He didn't do shit the entire game. Mm-hmm. I went to sleep and woke up after the fourth quarter. This nigga had 29 points. Mm-hmm. Like A lot of it rushing. Yeah. So niggas with him in the MVP spot won. I didn't have him in the NBC. I had I just picked him. Yeah, them niggas was sweating that game too. I bet. Yeah, I know. I know they was. That'd be the worst part, where it's like you'll pick the nigga and then you still gotta sweat it out. Like you still mm-hmm. gotta sit there, especially uh, again. Like, and the worst part is again. Imagine you pick the backup, right? You pick the backup. Okay, cool, cool, cool. You pick the backup, right? <laughs> and then what happens when you watch Mike White go down? And you're like, oh shit, because think about it. You weren't betting on really winning on that ticket. That was like your like I right, in case he go down. Like, this is my hell Mary ticket, right? So when I watch, so when you watch Mike Gray go down, like at first you're just like, oh come on, bro, not my ticket. This just ruined like every ticket I had. Yeah, right. And you, like, I got two tickets one. with Freeman on them, but like I gotta hope those are the right combinations. You know what I mean? One is him MVP, one is him not. And then he comes in, and then not only does he come in, he has to turn up. Like, it's not like he just comes in and he can just, oh, okay, well, he, like, you know, the the Jets still lost by 20, but, like, you know, he scored a touchdown or something. Like, no, he comes in and throws – He I think he had, like, 300 yards and three touchdowns. The nigga was putting up uh, yardage like he was in all game. Mm-hmm. And, like, he's the starter. Like, like he's the week-to-week starter. Mm-hmm. He, he Like, he was in the meeting rooms, game planning, watching the film. Like, yeah, I'm going to dice these niggas up this week. That nigga yeah, sabotaged nigga Mike went- White. Three hundred thousand dollars off of a backup backup quarterback. That's now nah, that's a hell of a story if I've ever heard one. I would go to the news. I would I, niggas need to know what I just did. All right, this, I'm a hold, genius. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Before we go any further, this pod's long. He's dog shit. I forgot we were still recording. Let's get out of here. Yeah, all right, let's let's get this. Bye. Mm-hmm.